The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here in DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into one hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bet with any college basketball bet. North Carolina listeners, don't forget, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Shannon. New customers can bet five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Shannon. The crown is yours. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, Bengals ring of fame honoree, yeah. uh, Liberty yeah. City's own, pro bowler, all pro, all the way from yeah. Oregon State down to Cincinnati. Yes, sir. In your living room on Nightcap as co-host, he's Mr. Real Rosado, Chad Ochocinco Johnson. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't even, I'm just, tonight I'm just Ocho because... I look, I go down there, yep. right? You know, we got the show. You got something to yep. drink, right? So, you know, I like to talk. So when I'm talking, sometimes my mouth and my throat get a little dry. And like right now I'm parched. Mm -hmm. And so I go downstairs to the refrigerator, yep. right? Yep. That's what you did. Ain't no, hey, um, ain't no water. Ain't no water. So boom. First thing, who you think drink all the water? Real drink all the water. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. And she going out of town, so that means she left town and didn't even put Ooh. waters back in the refrigerator, mm. knowing I got to do Ooh. nightcap. So now I go down there, ain't no water in the refrigerator. So what I'm supposed to do? I'm talking right now and I'm parked. You know what, Ocho? I'm glad real gone, because had that been yeah. my old lady and I go down to the refrigerator and ain't no water there, what you I'd have woke her ass up and put some water in this refrigerator. I'd have woke her ass up and put some water in the refrigerator. Right. Hold on, you would. I listen. She lucky she ain't here because she would have had to go to Publix. She would have had to go to Publix and get and get some water. Like you don't you don't do that. That's like with, when you got a cart when you got kids, yeah. right? And they drink they drink the soda or they they drink the carton of of juice yeah. or whatever it is with a yeah, little swallow and, yeah. and put it ain't back and put it back in there. Mm -hmm. Ain't no Come on, mm -hmm. come on. What we doing? What we yeah. doing? What You're we right. doing? But go go. I, I apologize. I just had to get that yeah. off my chest because I'm kind of upset. So basically now we beat real. You. Ain't you no know water. how this thing works. Well, Ocho upset at you. I'm upset at you. Now you you yeah, you man. know better. Now you know he's gonna yeah. do nightcap tonight and tomorrow. You know he needed water in there because he talks, right. and so when he talks, he's parched. And so that's like Thank being you. in the desert. You know the man was going on a trip, and you didn't even pack his favorite tooth. You didn't pack his toothbrush. You ain't leave give him no yep. deodorant or no mouthwash. Hey, no canteen, nothing. 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 So come on, real. Rail, come on now. I, I, I'm yeah. with you now. I'm with you when you're right, yeah. but you're wrong in this instance, Rail. Yeah. So your, yeah. your your favorite Shit, uncle said at you. So make do yeah, right. I'm you got to do right by you got to do right by Ocho. Sick of this shit. Shit. <laughs> got no damn water. My throat dry. We gonna, gonna be all right. We gonna get through it. We gonna get through it, Ocho. We gonna get through it tonight. Are we gonna get? I'm gonna swallow. I'm gonna swallow my spit. I don't worry about it. I'm gonna swallow my spit. See it, but I ain't surprised by that. Please make sure you hit that. <laughs> make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're 2,000 subscribers short. So that's our goal tonight, Ocho. Before we end this show, yeah. we want to be at 1.2 uh -huh. million because right now we're at 1,198,000. Okay. Our goal is to okay. end this chat with at least yeah. 1.2 million subs. So please make sure you guys go subscribe and like Nightcap with Unc and Ocho. And please make sure you guys subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to Nightcap through the Club Shay Shay feed. But we would greatly appreciate it if you signed up and subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. We appreciate everyone's patience. We're doing our absolute best to expedite all shipments from France. They're coming by air freight and they're coming by normal freight. So please, thank you guys for supporting Shea by Laportier. We're only taking pre-orders and we're doing everything we possibly can. Trust me, we're doing everything we possibly can. I forego my little share of the profit, that little bit of that little bit of mine mm -hmm. said, no, nah, make it right. Make it right. The customers in mm -hmm. this situation, when I, I, you know, Ocho, when you go to retail, they say the customer is always right. In this situation, right, right. they spent their hard earned money and they're expecting the uh, uh, Shea by Laportier to be in a timely manner. And unfortunately, yes, that sir. wasn't, dude, they don't really care. People don't care about the circumstances beyond their control. They want what right. they want when they want it. And so my job is to make right. sure that happens in a timely manner. 
And unfortunately, um, that wasn't able to happen. I'm doing everything I possibly can to correct the wrongs and the errors of our ways. And so thank you guys for bearing with us. Guys, please make sure you vote for us on the Webby Best Sports Podcast. Please go out, uh, Nightcap, Best spot, best Sports Podcast. Currently, there's only four more days. Uh, Thursday, uh, the 18th is the last day you can officially vote. And so far, guys, you have us in first place. So let's keep us there. And thank you. Ocho, before we get started today, I have some things that yes, we need to address. You and I need to address. Okay. And uh, okay. Russell Wilson is doing his right. best job. To, uh, evidently, mm-hmm. he heard what you and I said. Obviously, yes, our voices care uh, uh, resonates a lot because we have a large platform. Yeah. Um, our mm-hmm. subscribers, our followers, they like what we have to say. Mm-hmm. And so evidently, what yes, we sir. said when we talked about what he had said, I think it was was it GQ mm-hmm. or Essence? It, it was an Essence magazine. Yeah, I think it was Essence. Yes, sir. So uh, Russell Wilson said, let's start building mm-hmm. each other up. The evolution of the black quarterback in the NFL has been one of the coolest experience in my life to be a part of full context is mm-hmm. always important grateful for those before me those with me and those after me god is good right so what he did is that before w- russell will he this is the author now what he did he highlighted this is not what he mm-hmm. said he highlighted what the author right. said this is what this is what mm-hmm. uh, uh the author said before wilson burst onto the scene signal callers of color mm-hmm. Doug williams warren moon randall cunningham and Michael Vick all dominated the field at one point, a fact that Wilson recognized and respects. I think I think about those guys before me, he says. That's not mm-hmm. what he said. He's just regurgitating what the author said. Okay, here. Uh, okay. But when I, but, but, I tell you what you do now. When Rail come home, you say, Rail, I love yeah. you, but, and see what happens. Yeah. Now, this is what he said. Mm-hmm. He says, but when I came into the league, there were only a few of us. It was Cam Newton, Robert Griffin III, Colin Kaepernick, myself, and a couple of others. By the end of the second year in the NFL, Wilson had lift, held up the Lombardi, becoming just the second black quarterback to do so, while Wynn became unforgettable personal accomplishment that also marked a shift in the position. For me to be able to go right. back-to-back Super Bowls, when one of them, I think it opened a lot of doors, he said. Now you see guys like Patrick Mahomes. Huh? He didn't highlight that part now. See, But see, you notice, Ocho, he didn't highlight – for me to be right. able to go back to back and win one of them, I think it opened a lot of doors. That's mm-hmm. not what he highlighted. Right. I knew you to highlight what you said. Not what I can't highlight what Ocho said. Oh, this wah, 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 mm-hmm. bah, bah, bah. That's right. what Ocho said. Shannon, what did you say? Yes, sir. You can't highlight what I said. What did you say? Oh, man, you know what? Hey. I, you ain't gonna talk about all the receivers that came before Ocho. Like when I came into the league, wasn't nobody really running no routes, but like me, maybe Jimmy Smith. So you gonna forget about mm-hmm. Sterling Sharp. You forget all Flipper Anderson, Aaron Cox. You gonna forget about right. all the other guys that were route runners mm-hmm. and just highlight right. your era. So in other words, right. and this this is what irks me a lot about this generation. If it didn't happen, yes, if they didn't see it, it didn't happen. If it did, it's not on the right. internet where you could just go, it didn't happen. And so mm-hmm. the emergence of quarterbacks like Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, and C.J. Stroud, uh, to name a few, is indicative of a new era of football and a glimpse into what sports is trending. Mm. So he heard what he heard what we said, obviously. Right, right, um, right. I'm glad. Um, mm-hmm. If he didn't hear it, and that's the thing, if he didn't hear it, somebody that he that's close to him did hear it. I, look, I'm happy that more people that mm-hmm. our color getting an opportunity to mm-hmm. play that position because before yes, they were getting transferred, they would play going, moving the running back or wide receiver, mm-hmm. or they were playing deep yeah. DB. They were a safety. They weren't getting opportunities. No matter how accomplished Warren moon had to go to the great, had to go to the, uh, 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 Canada, Can- Can- Canada. CFL, he had to go to the Canadian league yeah. after he won mm-hmm. the Rose bowl. After mm-hmm. Warren was a, a prototypical drop back quarterback, he had to go mm-hmm. win five Grey Cups and come right. back. Mm-hmm. So that's all we're saying, Russ. We're not saying, but we don't want you to minimize the importance mm-hmm. of the guys that came before you. That came before you, right? Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't. Obviously, context always matters. 
anytime anything is being said, anytime anything is being written, context always matters. I've, I've, I've talked to Russ multiple times, really not on this situation here, but in mm-hmm. general, just about obviously me being on the other side of the yes. fence, being a part of yes. media, trying to balance, being able to be critical, me trying to balance, being able to being able to analyze right. players without it being di- disrespectful and talking and talking to Russ in person, not over right. the phone, in yeah. person. What he said was, is we as those that have already played mm-hmm. the game, already played the game, we have to, it, it's in for us to do, do justice to stop tearing our black kings down in general and kind of somewhat in the narratives at times on some of the things that we say. He also said the fact that he respects those that have played the game that came before him. The players that have the voices like we do, we're very impactful when we talk about the game because we played it. Not only did we play it, we played it at a very high level and our voices matter because they're very powerful. We got a lot of reach. Um, you got a you got a, you got a mm-hmm. lot of reach, and I think more so in that end. I think he's kind of sick of the narratives in general. You never hear Russell Wilson fire back. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. You notice that this is one of the few times he's actually came out and spoke about what obviously what me and you had to talk about. And I think he's just sick of the narratives. And I think this is we're gonna see a different Russell Wilson now. This is what I think from this from this point on because Russell never says anything when anyone says anything about so- him. So the fact that the fact that he came out and said something, I think we're gonna get we're gonna see a more boisterous, a more opinionated Russell Wilson. So when people say anything about him, I think he's gonna fire back and kind of set the record straight. Well, I, I think for me, oh look, mm-hmm. I do the best job I possibly can because I really never try. I don't. I don't think I have only once. I think one time, right? I I, mm-hmm. I have attacked somebody in all my years of mm-hmm. doing this. And this is going on. Yes, sir probably almost two decades um, that I've mm-hmm. attacked someone personally. And uh, right. if I ever see him, uh, I'll, I'll apologize. There's no sense in, in going getting into that now, even though he continuously attacks yes, me, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, for me, Ocho, and I think the thing that people that have heard me, they mm-hmm. know I'm not parsimonious when I comes to with my criticism. That's a good word right there, baby. I like that one. Parsimonious. So I write in other down. words, people have heard me uh-huh. criticize Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, just as mm-hmm. much as I've criticized the Dak Prescott, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I be- Just because you're yes, accomplished. I'm going to say two, part, two parts. Just because yes, you sir. are an accomplished, you won multiple mm-hmm. MVPs, multiple Super Bowls. Yes, sir. You're not beyond reproach. Just because yes. you're black and I'm black, that doesn't mean mm-hmm. you're re- beyond reproach. Now, I'm not going to mm-hmm. attack you as a man, mm-hmm. but I think I, I, I think I can t- attack your play on the field. In this, yes, sir. I thought Russ was being dismissive of the guys that mm-hmm. came before him. Before, okay, that's okay. what that's what okay. I was saying. I was like, but Russ, you do realize that Marlon Briscoe was a scrambling quarterback before Doug Williams. Before You probably mm-hmm. don't even know who he is, the first black quarterback to start opening day for the Broncos. There was James, there was Shaq Harris, that also from Grambling State that played under Coach Rob before Doug. Mm-hmm. Randall, there were so many guys. Dante Culpepper was, mm-hmm. was a mobile quarterback. But it seems mm-hmm. like he was, he was very fine to fit his era. Cam, mm-hmm. RG3, you know, Mm-hmm. Call a uh, uh, cap because if I'm not mistaken, cap came out the same mm-hmm. year he did. Might have came out the same year he did, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So that's where I am. I I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know Russ personally. I've met him a few times. Mm-hmm. He was great to me. Mm-hmm. I was great to him. Yeah. I don't know Russ dude. off the field. I'm not in his life. Good dude. Good dude. But Real all I dude. but this notion that every time that mm-hmm. somebody's like, if you if we were attacking him personally. We said we don't mm-hmm. like what he's doing. We don't like that he's putting everything on social media. We don't think this mm-hmm. or he's that, he's this. Now we're attacking him personally. I don't think you or yes, I have ever done that. I know I haven't. No, no, no. I no, spoke no, to no, something no. I, I, that was brought to mm-hmm. my attention. Everybody right. called me a lie. After it was reported as facts that he did have an office, he did have a special interest, he did have extra spot. Well, why'd you have to bring it up? Because you... Hold up, I thought context matters. Yes, so sir. when does context matter, Locho? 
Mm. Now I could have right. went. Right. I could have went deeper, but then nah. I would. I felt personally. Now I'm piling on. Now I'm adding some. Whatever transpired, leave it there. Yes, sir. But they. But the one thing fans know about me. When I speak to something in Denver, I speak to something in Baltimore. You best believe. Take it to the bank. Yeah. If I tell you grass will turn to cheese, Ocho, tell them what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You're going to quit every job you got, take every mm -hmm. dime out the bank you got, and start hustling crackers. Yes, sir. Because my word is better than Bitcoin when I talk to you about those two franchises. Right. So I wish Nightcap wish Russ the best. Hopefully he yeah. gets back to being the Russell Wilson that we knew we loved when he was in Seattle. Mm -hmm. I yes. hope that's what he can return to. I pray that's what he I, returns I, to because I still think what, he has good football in him. I think nah. mm -hmm. his heart really didn't want to leave Seattle, but sometimes mm -hmm. you have to you have to go and the thing mm -hmm. it didn't work out the way he envisioned. I don't think anybody mm -hmm. envisioned that it would be only a two-year stint in Denver. But I think Russ has good football left in him. Um, mm -hmm. And I wish him Great the football. best in Pittsburgh. Great football. Except yeah. when they play the Ravens and if they play the Broncos. Well, listen, he's going to be fine. Again, context matters. Where you're going, you're going to a great organization. Yes. A winning organization. A great head coach. One that's got your back no matter what. Come hell or yes. high water. Mike Tomlin is going to have his back. Another thing that matters, a quarterback going to a new situation, supporting cast. Yes. What am I surrounded with? I'm surrounded by good running back play, and you're surrounded by good catchers of the ball, even if they are young. Yeah. Who knows what they're going to do mm -hmm. in the draft? Who right. knows? They're going to bring pieces in there to make your job easy. Winning organization. All Russell Wilson has to do is go in there and be yes. Russ. That's yes. it. And he's going to be fine. Except when he played the goddamn Bengals. <laughs> you see? That, that's well, it. Except when you play the Bengals. Yeah. And it's not that we're rooting against where well, we are. We're rooting against you, Russ. We don't want you to play where I go. I <laughs> tell you that lie. Well, I hope Russ have a good yeah. game as long as the Steelers lose. Yeah. No, I don't. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, I don't. I because yeah, right, if he right, have a good game, listen, then, that greatly goes <laughs> to helping the Steelers win that game. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that. Yeah. I want the Ravens to beat the yeah. brakes off of twice. And if they play the Broncos, mm -hmm. I want the Broncos to win. Now, yeah, if it was no a former teammate, oh, I want you right. to have a good game. Just not win the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, 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 want, I want them to have a good game, but I don't want to, I don't want to beat the Bengals. Um, and, you know, Russ might, be Russ might be watching. Russ might be watching. Russ, you know how I feel about you, boy. I love you. I love you to death. I love you. You're going to have a, I'm telling you, you're going to have a good year. I'm telling you, but when you play the Bengals, you can have a great game as long as the result of the game is the Bengals winning. That's, That's all, all that matters. matters. That's all so, I care about. That's all that continue matters. Continue success. He going to play. So, Russ, hopefully uh, 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 I cleared up what my thinking was, um, why I said what I said. I understand you have more than a right to refute anything that was said uh, by me mm -hmm. or, or Ocho on this podcast. That's well within your right, but – we wish you the best moving forward. And uh, yes, hey, it didn't work out in Denver, but hopefully it works out three times better than what it did in Denver and Pittsburgh um, because Steelers was my favorite team when I was growing up. Unfortunately, that had to change once I got drafted. They were no longer my favorite team. And playing in that division with the Ravens, we hated the Steelers, mm -hmm. and we still do. Oh, yeah. Some things, some <laughs> things never change. Never, never Ocho, change. Ocho, it's time for our first segment of the night, and it's called a news cap. News cap. Hold on, let me write this. Let me write. Let me write this. I drop something. Uh, Joe Burrow breaks down past success against the Chiefs and says, "I think we're built to beat them." Joe Burrow is three and one all time against Kansas City. Appearing on New Heights yeah. New Heights podcast live, Burrow said, "I think we match up pretty well with them. I think we're beat to build. I think we're built to beat them." I always appreciate legendary battles we have. Guys go out there always making plays. Patrick is always out there making plays. Both teams have big-time offensive lines and a great matchup. Uh, one of the biggest question marks this offseason, what's going to happen with T. Higgins? They have franchised yeah. him. 
He wants that long-term deal. Uh, this is what T. Higgins says. He says he anticipates playing for the Bengals in 2024. He told reporters at his youth football camp Sunday. Higgins, is, who's entering in his fifth year in the league, has requested a trade earlier this offseason at the Cincinnati place to franchise tag him. I don't appreciate mm -hmm. it. I've grown to uh, grown. Uh -uh. I've grown a love for Cincinnati, and I didn't think I would. I'm looking forward to it. Higgins is fourth, <clears throat> fourth in his draft class with 3,684 receiving yards. Three players ahead of him: Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, and Brandon mm -hmm. Ayuk. Also, have yet to receive mm -hmm. contract extensions. Okay, let's talk about what uh, uh, Joe Cool said. <laughs> Joyce, yeah, the facts. The facts. He's he's yeah. three and one against Kansas City. He says mm -hmm. he believes. They're built to beat them. Mm -hmm. they, they are. They are. I mean, what he said is factual. I think when it comes to the quarterback play, obviously when when, you, when it's come to the quarterback play, the accolades, people will always put Mahomes ahead of him because of the Super Bowls and the playoff wins. But we are 3-1 mm -hmm. against them. From a team perspective, offensively, we are built to beat them. Why? Because we have a special quarterback yep. in ourselves over in Cincinnati. One that can match up toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes. One that takes care of the ball. Also in crunch time, when it matters mm -hmm. most, and it's, it's it's two minutes on the clock, and you know you need yes. to score. We also have a quarterback on done. our end that can go get it done and make the right throws at the mm -hmm. right time and not turn the ball over. Defensively, our defensive coordinator also, which is why the maturation of why we play so well against. The Chiefs. Also, we ha we've always had the supporting cast. We've always had the personnel that matches up well against them. Sometimes it's like that. There's always a team that has your number, right? Yeah. No matter what you do. You don't see them that often until you get to the playoffs. But for some reason, when it comes to that chess match, you always have the pieces that fit very well. And it's always a good game when you face that team. Now, again, the Chiefs have always, even though we're three and one, the Chiefs have the Super Bowl. They have the <laughs> accolades. They got the Lombardis. <laughs> We just haven't got over that hump. If we get a healthy Joe Burrow, if we get a healthy Joe Burrow this year, it's going to get scary. Come playoff time, we already know what's going to happen in the regular season. What we do need to fix in Cincinnati is we need to fix the slow start. We have a problem having a slow start and then picking up as the season goes. If we can get a jump on the competition and come out the gate, if we can come out the gate hot and then – after 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 um goddamn Thanksgiving, and just go on cruise control and just play good football, I think we're gonna be good. I just don't like the fact that we start so slow. We'll start 0-2, we'll start 0-3, and, and got to crawl and fight our way back into contention. So y'all beat if we get a healthy if, if we get a healthy Joe See, Burrow, you already you know what's gonna happen. That AFC North is oh, a wrap. So think about it. You keep yes, saying sir. if, 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 if. If 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 if, if he's healthy, listen, this this is a game. Injuries happen. It's part of the game. But when you lose a quarterback of that magnitude, who I consider to be the second best, first best, it depends on and who you ask. He ain't no first I best. And first. you can ask anybody. You can ask Cincinnati. Okay. He all ain't right. no first. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I, I knew you're going to get Come on, Ocho. Now, even about you. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. That's my team, though. You see what Jerry yeah, got I don't on, understand right? that. But yeah. even you know. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Second best. Okay. You want to you want to argue the fact? No. Okay. Cool. Right. Se okay. Se se second second best. But even even still, that's yeah. good. When the other when there are thirty one other quarterbacks. But in let the me league. ask you this, Ocho. But no, if 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 we get if Joe is healthy, it's up and stuck. Let me ask you a question. It's up and stuck. You beat the you're built to beat Kansas City. So what happened? And the what happens when you don't play Kansas City in the first eight weeks of the season, and you go down three five like you normally do? Then what? We fight. We we fight and claw back. You make it a lot. We, you, we fight, you're we, making it a lot more difficult on yourself. Difficult, exactly. So instead of having exactly. all these games on the road, maybe you get somebody. Mm -hmm. Maybe Buffalo. Now you've gone to Buffalo and beaten them. You've even gone beat, to Kansas City, but you make you beat them. You make your job a little easier. Difficult, you're right. As opposed to like getting these games at home, you don't mm -hmm. have to travel. You get to you know sleep right. in your own bed, things of that nature. But. Mm -hmm. The injury is the biggest concern because he's been injured right. more times. He's not finished the season more times than he has finished the season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, that, that's, you know what? It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But if anything, to me, I'd like to say this would be the year he stays in injury free. I, I just think it is. And if he's going to get hurt, let's get hurt 
early in your career as opposed to on the back end or opposed to in nah. the middle? Hey, if I don't got me by five or six, if we got me by three or four Super Bowl, I start getting hurt and I can break down because I can walk away. I mean, you don't want to be right, right. You I, don't want to be in mean. a situation like Andrew Luck. See, it's a lot easier to walk oh. away from the game when you Tom Brady or Peyton Manning. Right. Because here I am in right. year 21, 22, Peyton in year 18. Right. Oh man, look at I got all yeah. the MVPs, I've yeah, gotten go Super Bowls, I've gotten all the accolades. Mm -hmm. But look at a guy like Andrew Luck. Yeah. He has to walk mm -hmm. away after what, five, six years? Yeah, he he got yes. beat. He got beat up bad. He got beat. He he got beat up bad. But in in Joe Burrow's case, his injuries had nothing to do with the punishment he was taking uh, behind center. You know the the calf. Yeah, the, the wrist. Time the ACL. Sure. He got sacked wish... in the pocket. He got tweaked a certain way. Oh yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, uh, the yeah, yeah. thumb. But, but, but did he but, hit his thumb on somebody's head? Because didn't he break a? I, I'm not sure. It was his it was wrist a, that was bothering him. It was wrist because he it threw wrist, it. Yeah, it was wrist that was bothering him. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how right. it happened, but one 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 week they saw him wearing a brace, yeah, you know, and then played in the game. He he, he threw, and I I don't I don't know what happened, but again, I think he's he's healthy now. Yeah, he's gonna be all right. I'm sure they might be in the off season program now, so they, I mean they they're gonna be fine. I I would I would hope I hope they get something done with T Higgins because he's deserving. He's de he's deser he's so deserving. What you I don't. What you gonna do with, with, with I, I Jefferson? Know. I mean, uh, with a uh, Chase. I know. With Chase, I, I know. Um, I know. Have I, you ever I, been I, on I a team? Have you I, ever been on a team? Have you ever seen a team pay two number ones? Especially nah. in today's market, where today's market right. is what it is, because Jefferson right. is gonna Jefferson. First of all, I keep saying Jefferson Chase because it's three of them. Chase, it's, yeah. It's a uh, uh, CD Lamb. Chase, CD, and just and, and just Justin. everybody just wants the first one to see the domino fall. Oh, That's yeah. what everybody waiting oh, for. Yeah. Because I believe mm -hmm. all the teams really want to do something, but mm -hmm. I want you to set the market. Right. See, and so I can overlap. So I can overlap. We all in the subdivision. We all got 10,000, yep. 15,000 square foot home with pool. Right. We got theaters. We got a bowling alley. Uh -huh. We got an eight car garage yep. with 15 bedrooms mm -hmm. and 10 baths. We all got the same house. Yes, sir. I just waiting for somebody to put their house on the market so I can see what the, what the bid is. That's mm -hmm. what these guys are doing, Ocho. No, nobody want to yeah. be first because you already know yeah. you're gonna be the highest paid receiver for exactly one day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you gonna be a yeah, but listen, man, T T maybe maybe in the draft. Maybe in the draft. Obviously, T Higgins said all the right yes. things today. He said yes. all the right things at his camp. You know, obviously he requested a trade. We all know that. He is deserving of what it is he wants. Yeah. His play has been magnificent. One of the few teams where I think we were fortunate enough to have two number one receivers. This is a very, 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 very deep draft class at the receiver yeah. position. I think maybe, I'm not sure what may happen. He might get traded. Maybe the draft, maybe during the draft. You never mm -hmm. know. Maybe during the draft. But again, I love T. I would love to see him with my Bengals, but also from the business side of things. What he's done for the Bengals organization in that team in that city, what he's done for me, just watching him, you know, from afar. When he even when he's at Clemson, to see him, the maturation and the growth that he's possessed to this point, he is deserving of that money, yeah. that big money, that kind of money that secures your future, where your your mama straight, mm -hmm. you know, when you have kids, your kids' kids yeah. straight. I, that, that's all. That's all I'm saying. I would love to see him stay, but I also want him to get what he deserves. Right. Even if it's not in yeah. Cincinnati, and it's probably it's probably going to have to be because, I mean, for him to stay because I don't I don't see a situation with Chase because it's different quarterbacks. Quarterbacks give a little discount. They always going to take care of the quarterback mm -hmm. because they're the first guy yeah. to go come say, you know what, we're going to take your salary and we're going to turn it into a signing bonus and we're going to put it in board right. of the years down the stretch, down the road. Mm -hmm. So they're always willing. Normally, nine times out of mm -hmm. ten, they'll kick the can down the road for the quarterback. Right, everybody, all the other positions. So if I'm a wide receiver, especially yeah. that first, con first of all, I ain't giving nobody no discount. Co no, not not the first contract. Absolutely no, 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 not. No, no, no. Absolutely no, no, no. not the first not. one. Absolutely no, not. Sir. I wouldn't give them none anyway. Cause, cause, cause here's the thing. Like Keenan Allen said, I had my best year. Y'all want mm -hmm. me to take a pay cut? So what happens yeah. if I don't yeah. have my be best year? Oh, so you already know they're gonna come see me. Yeah, you know, you know that. So, you know that. And you're gonna get you gonna get that knock on the door. You know how to, you know how that knock thought, go. But I hold on. I thought I signed the contract.
Because that's what they tell you yeah. when you want to renegotiate. But you signed. Yeah, you signed. You signed okay. the contract, didn't you? You signed it too. Your name is up on the mine. Right. But so now all of a sudden, now it's it's not well, you know, we got to do what's in the best interest of the team. Just, well, you know team. what? Oh, I need boy. all my money because I got to do what's in the best interest of the Chase family. And that's my mom, my yes, grandma, sir. granddaddy, all the family. Mm -hmm. That's my team. I need to do what's in the best yes, interest sir. of them. So hopefully, right. guys do a better job of understanding that. Because you know what? Baseball players don't really give no deals. You notice that? Oh, no. And they get guaranteed money. Shohei Otani, $700 million. He going to get all yeah. $700 million. Every dollar. And they got and they got Mookie Betts on the on the payroll at $365 million. They got Freddie Freeman. Real oh, deal. Freddie. From a, from, he from California, but he was a brave. Mm -hmm. He's on the payroll for buck 60, buck 70. Yeah, and they got so yeah. many. They got the uh, 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 the other Japanese pitcher that they just came over. Just paid him a boatload mm -hmm. of money. Yeah. Hey, you know what I always what? thought about? Well, where all that goddamn money come from, man? When it comes to baseball, now it, 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 it get they, huh? the same place they got it in football. So if baseball on, uh, hold on, if, hold, if, on if, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, now half the time them stadiums don't even be filled up. So I'm trying to understand where that kind of money coming from when it comes to baseball. They got it in football. But you see what baseball players did when they shut it down? There was no playoffs. Uh -huh. There was no World Series. They was willing to set out. Right. And, 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 and the right. Players Association said, look, we're doing, we're gearing up for this day. So for the next mm -hmm. several years, we need you to set. Right. No big purchases. No big purchases. Mm. Right. And now, we ain't playing, punks. <laughs> <laughs> so you... But you know, you, you know what it would take to get the NFL players to come together Nothing. like that. It'd be very difficult because I mean, there are a lot of players. You yeah. know that that when the off season come, they've already run through really all, all their money. It. They they really run through all their money, and a lot of people in the chat you really really don't understand this. Is like they can't wait till it gets in the season for those checks to start rolling yeah. in again. And the fact that it doesn't matter that. You're getting paid twice as or three or four or five times more as opposed to when we was playing. If you're making more, you're spending more. You're spending yeah, more. for sure. You're yeah. spending more. It, it, it don't change. And sometimes it's goddamn almost like living check to check, even if you're making millions. That shit happens. That's why the percentage of us, when we're done playing, within two years, mm -hmm. huh? Two years. Once them checks stop rolling in, boy, you ain't got no money yeah. left. I mean, how many, how many big, how many Cuban links you need, Ocho? Okay, you get your one, you get your you get your little little bracelet and master your chain. You straight, right? Yeah. Do you need five yeah. Cubans? Yeah. Do you hey, need do you need a house in Miami, one in Houston, and plus, mm. you know, you gotta have hey, you know, you gotta have what a plan, you know, what a, you don't oh so you don't talk about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I already they know you at. I already know you at. I'm I'm with you when you're right. Place, I'm with you when you're right. And they got a G Wagon. Yeah. They got a coloring. Mm -hmm. They got they. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You, you, hey, least, I'm just you, saying. You can only you you is you can only drive one. You can only drive one. Matter of fact, this is this is a good scenario and a good case in point. Think about this, chat. Stay with me real quick on this one right here. Think about everybody from Shannon Sharp's era. Now think about all the players from my era. Show me any of the players from my era or Shannon Sharp's era that are still living the same exact lifestyle as if they're playing the game of football. Think yeah. about it. Driving all the nice shit, all the big. It's impossible to maintain that lifestyle when checks of that magnitude stop rolling yeah. in. There's nothing else in this world where you can you can make six hundred fifty thousand a no. week. Nothing. It's impossible. You can make two hundred fifty thousand every Monday. Three hundred fifty thousand every every. It's, every it's nothing. These guys, it's, make, it's these guys making these guys making three million a game. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the funny thing about it is, is you make it three million a game and you think, you know what, it's always going to be like this. So you're spinning unconsciously, unco having fun, fashion, cars, going here, trips. You know, you got a bunch, you got a, you got a bunch of chicks. So, you know, you're tricking off as, you're tricking and off you as break, well. If you bring when, the homeboys with you, 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 you know, know they it. ain't paying for nothing, Ocho. Oh, they got entourages. The entourages, yeah, that's a lot of mouths yeah. to feed. Ain't nobody paying for nothing. Well, when you look up, you're in year six. When you look up, you're in year eight. Oh, God forbid you have an injury. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, Joe. Boy, listen. I tell.
Unk, that shit go fast. Whatever boy. you make, whatever, whatever I make. Yeah. I go ahead and take half of it. I put it in the bank. Oh, my. That Uncle Sam. Might as well. Cause yeah. I pay my I kept, I Might pay well. my taxes quarterly. I got tired of writing three, four million dollar checks at the end of the year. I said, "Nah, you take this. It's quarterly yeah. because it will hurt. It will hurt right my now. pride to see that." I like I gotta pay that yeah. much. I'm like, what the? Yeah. So what I do is that hey, whatever I make, I get a hundred thousand. I get two hundred thousand. I get half a million. Mm -hmm. Two fifty mm -hmm. go or one hundred go yeah. or fifty thousand go. Right. I set that aside. Now this is what I got towards my expenses. Cause Uncle Sam mm -hmm. got to get, he got experience. I got to pay. I got Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. He got a big old house. Yeah, he got a big old yeah. house in in DC, mm -hmm. the big one. And then he got another building. Mm -hmm. I think they call it the Capitol. Mm -hmm. And then they got the Pentagon. And we got all them beach, them mm -hmm. stealth bombers, and those, you know, them, them yeah. F sixteen Hornets. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I got to pay my part in all that. Right. I yeah. understand that. Well, also, Ocho, you got an agent. Mm -hmm. He'll get two. He'll oh, get, taking that. Oh, taking that. He'll get two, two to four percent. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, most definitely. You you know it's funny if we had somebody, uh, I think the casual fan you have to be a player to understand. The casual fan see the numbers at the end of the day and think, oh my god, he signed for two fifty or, or three hundred or whatever it may be. But when you break down the numbers and actually you get that chop in half what Uncle Sam yeah. take, then you factor in your expenses. Yes. Then you think about what goes to your agent. Yeah. Then you think about what you got mm -hmm. left over. Um, it shrinks it significantly does. regards to regards to what those numbers say going across that tick on ESPN. Yeah. It's a different yeah. ball game. It's all smoke yeah. and mirrors. I'm talking about the real, like what you can yeah. touch. Uh, but see, Ocho, the best thing that I did, I was I switched agents. The agent that I have, he represented John. Right. I remember asking John, I said, John, who's your agent? He told me his name, Marvin Demar. I said, you think he'd be interested mm -hmm. in representing me? He's like, I don't know, but here's his number. He gave me his number. I called him. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Had a meeting with him. He says, uh, I'll meet you at the Pro Bowl. He right. asked me, what did I want mm -hmm. in my future? I told him, I said, I want to mm -hmm. live the same lifestyle that I have right now. He yeah. said, you have any kids? I said, I got three. I said, how old? I told mm -hmm. him how old they were. He said, do you support anybody outside of your kids? I like my mom. I helped my mom out. My mom was still working at the time. I say my grandmother, my sister. At the time, my brother had just had just retired. I say I take all that responsibility. He says, right. "Go home. Get me all your financials of how much you actually have. Mm -hmm. Get me everything that you spend, and then I'll get back to you in thirty to forty five days." Mm. Brought him everything I had. Like, wow. Right. I mean, you don't blow a lot of your money. Uh, I don't see boats. I don't see. At that time, Ocho, I had you know had nice cars, but I always, always, I never, I didn't have a car note, so I had paid them off in cash. Right. Right. No trips. He says, "This is what we're gonna do." He says, "We're gonna do this, 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 and this." He says, "I want you to." Right. He says, "Anytime you have a, a, a an appearance," he says, "I want you to divide it up and put it in an account." For each kid college so we're gonna mm. do that every time you go do something no matter how that's not yours that's theirs okay boom he says now your contract's gonna come up you know hey we're gonna talk about this we'll see what the market it is he said this is what we're gonna do he said the first you know it's half yeah but i want you to take whatever you get whatever we get i want you to take a third and say, I'm not going to touch it for 20 years. Mm. Okay. That was three years. We go to Baltimore. <laughs> Y'all were free agent. Yeah. I'm a free agent, Ojo. I'm bouncing. I'm a bouncing. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you know what's coming. Seven-time Pro Bowler, four-time first team, yeah. seven consecutive Pro Bowl. I'm on the market. Yeah. Whatever we get, Shannon, he said, I want you to take a third mm -hmm. and put it away for 20 years. You can't touch it for 20 yes, years. I'm, now, hold on, Ocho. Think about it now. 20 years. I'm like, well, damn. Yeah. What, yeah. If, what if something unforeseen, you know, brother, mom, sister. I said, Shannon, mm -hmm. I want you to put a third for 20 years. Man, Ocho, you know, mm -hmm. so I went earlier this year. 
And I talked, I was talking to him and he said, I need, you know, give me your yeah. financials. I brought him all the financials. Uh huh. Ocho. Mm -hmm. You know what he told me? He uh -huh. said, go buy yourself something. <laughs> I said, but that, wait, 20 years and you ain't, ain't touch it. Touch it. Ain't touch it. You already, I, I already, I, I already know what it's looking like. You ain't got to tell Man, me. Man, please. You ain't got to, you ain't got to tell me. Ocho. So that's why, that's why mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. when uh, 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 Fox did what they did, O'Shea mm -hmm. was straight. Now, yeah, now no Stephen A. Plus they had, plus they had to do the payout, hey, the payout. But old Stephen A came by with his little light bulb. He said, hey, I heard yeah. somebody over here need a little sifter. I said, yeah, you yes, know, sir. I had a little, you know, little car broke down right side of the road. I said, come on. Oh, old, old, old triple S. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. so now I'm thinking, okay, I've got the kids and the grandkids. Right. I'm trying to get my grandson kid and his mm -hmm. kid. Straight. Right. But there mm -hmm. wasn't no fancy, it wasn't no going on no this and no extravagant stuff like that. No. Mm -hmm. My sister, hey, yeah. Shannon, get me, hey, I don't need no, you know, I, you know what I did, Ocho? Uh, I uh, I got my sister. Uh, I bought her. She told me she wanted mm -hmm. a limited. This is why, you know, the Southern, you know, they don't speak correctly. Right, right. I heard expedition. She said limited edition. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time, the expedition had just came out. I said, so I told her, I said, Libby, I got you an expedition. She said, Shannon, what is that? I said, I wanted a limited mm -hmm. edition. She wanted an Explorer, right. but she wanted a limited oh, edition Explorer. Limited edition Explorer. I heard right. Expedition. So I done went to the I done went to the dealership and got it. John, actually, <laughs> Elway had a car dealership. I done went to the dealership right, right. and got it. Mm, the wrong I thing. I done got the wrong thing. She's like, Shannon, I don't want that. But just so happened, the dealership in my hometown, uh -huh. they had one on the lot. Right. So you just traded, you nah, traded the back? She like, uh-uh, I want it, I want it, I want it. I, yeah, I bet you do, I bet you do want it. So, but hey. but that was the that was the thing. And so, and that, Ocho, see, I'm just watching, it's like, I've always been a provider. And I understand mm -hmm. that I'm the baby of the group and I'm, the, you know. Yes, sir. But I'm the, I take over, I took over everything. Because once my brother right. left, now I got all the responsibility. So that's my thinking. That's why family, I put family above everything. And I don't yes, play sir. about my family. My family. So mm -hmm. when something if something's bothered my family, it bothers me. It bothers you. Because right. I'm, I'm close like that. And I gave my grandmother on her deathbed. I got this. And when I say yeah. I got it. You got it. Hey, my brother, hey, go to bed, rest easy. You ain't never got to worry about money. Let me go to bed, sleep mm -hmm. easy. You ain't never got to worry about money. Hey, guys, I want to say this. Uh, my sister had the surgery. Both of her hips repaired. She's already home. Mm. She's walking. She competitive. She's just trying to beat me. Because I was <laughs> I was walking unassisted the second time in six days with a repaired hip. Right. So she's trying to beat me. She done walked up and down the hall, and she all around and everything. My cousin called me and said, uh, I asked her how she was doing. She said, when I got there this morning, Libby was already set up. She was already done giving herself a... I said, you see oh, that's that good. helpful? That's good. She's just trying to beat that's me. Good. She make me sick. <laughs> that's but that, that's how I am, Ocho. So I, I say, and people are like, well, man, you, mm -hmm. bro, to what I make, to what I mm -hmm. spend, the ratio is not even close. It's yeah, not even oh, close. I, my, you know, mine, mine worse than yours. <laughs> But my mine is mine is always it's always been like that. You know, that it's it's a it's a discipline that you learn very yeah. early. Very early. Cause we heard Matter the stories, Ocho. Yeah. We, we've seen it. Yeah. I've seen guys that I I've play seen, with, man, yeah. and this they 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 down bad, man. Listen, I think it might have been my first year. Might have been my first year. And I went second round, obviously 30. I forgot what pick I went, you know. And I, I think my, my, my signing bonus might have been what maybe one five, one Ooh, two, something like that. Lord. That, oh, listen. And you, and you know, in Florida, that ain't no state tax. So you got and, and you know, you know, you yeah, you know you I'm you young, you're young now. Yeah. And so I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm having fun. I'm having a good old time. I look up, 
off season come, boy, I done ran through all that. <laughs> hey, um, listen to me now. I done ran through all that because I wasn't paying attention and I, I hadn't learned to say no. And Chad, listen, family, y'all stay with me because I can tell y'all this and I'm going to tell you where the discipline come from for me because it started early after that first year. Unk, the off season that came, we got into the middle of the season. We got about, we got about to maybe yeah. April or May. I never forget. I was with Jerome Stanley at the time, but Unk, I had, I had ran out, bro. Mm. You hear me? Let me take, let me take my glass <laughs> off because you know I play a lot. <laughs> Unk, I had ran out. I ain't had nothing left. So I talked to Mr. Stanley. I say, Mr. Stanley, man, I done messed up. Do no problem. Boom. Dennis Northcutt, Cleveland Browns wide receiver. And Chad, if anybody in the chat know Dennis Northcutt, I guarantee he'll tell you. Dennis Northcutt had to give me 150000 Might have been year one. Maybe, maybe yeah, it had, it had to be year one. Because I, I after that, I was on point. Dennis, Dennis Northcutt had to give me 150 grand. So I can get through the so I can get through the season, get, get through season. the off season. And when them checks started rolling in, I shot buddy that money back. Mm -hmm. Unk, from that point on, what you talking about cheap? Yeah. Man, listen, I became so financially conscious of everything I did. Started going to Claire's. I got that smart car probably in 2004. I treated myself the things that I got nice. That was all. If it wasn't the commercial money, it wasn't if it wasn't TV money, you know, all that stuff I had going on yeah. off the field. I ain't touched no more NFL checks from that point on when I couldn't make it through a goddamn offseason. It, Ocho, I mean, so Boy, you think about man, you got listen. one five. You gotta realize I was making 63. My rent at Mill Pond, Woo! I was I made 63,000 my rookie year. Mill Pond, the rent was five. Hold on, first of all, you couldn't do like you know how you gotta do a a a, a, a rent, you gotta do a rent like like a year, right. but yeah. I hold on to see. I got I got the apartment because I couldn't move in. Boy, and this mm -hmm. is this I had. God was looking out for me. My yes, apartment sir. wasn't going to be ready, so I made the team in August. My apartment wasn't uh -huh. going to be ready until the first of October. I ain't got nowhere to stay. Ocho, I ain't got no, first of October. I ain't got, Ocho, I ain't got no Ocho. I ain't got no place to go, man. Unless I go to right. the, the hotel. Hotel probably mm -hmm. about 50 bucks a night. Ocho, everybody know Melvin Bratton. You met call him Fat Cat. Mel. Fat Cat said, Hey, I got him two. I got him the first two weeks. Huh. Right. You take him the next 10 days. Bobby Humphrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ricky Nat, you bring it home. So I right. slept with I slept with Fat Cat the first two weeks. Then I went to Bobby yes, Humphrey. They dropped me off. I me, mean, Mel took because I got at that time I ain't had no car just yet. Then I got my right, car right. in the process. I'm living with B Hump. Then mm -hmm. Hump, as a matter of fact, no, I ain't got no car because I'm driving Ricky the Teals. Ricky the Teal let me drive. He, he had a four by four uh, uh, based out. He let me drive. He right, let right. me drive his front runner. Mm -hmm. For five weeks, I'm living with teammates. So yeah. now, October, November, December, January, February, March, I got to get six months. I ain't living there. So I'm paying a thousand dollars for a place I ain't even right. living. Mm. I got to go back and finish up my degree. I stay in this place right. called Royal Oaks. Hey, and anybody in Savannah, you know Royal Oaks. Ocho, a thousand bucks a mm. month, and I got to furnish it, and I got a place to go back to Savannah State. Mm. So I pay for my own tuition. Now, yes, sir. had the president had some of these presidents that that I've been dealing with, they probably would say, "Well, come on back." But I had to pay. I paid no problem. It wasn't no problem. Even though I wasn't making money like that, they just, oh, oh so you know, NFL, people say, you've been paying professionals, right. professionals this. You make a lot of money. But I wasn't. Right. Had a right. cell phone. Now, I don't know if you know this, Ocho, but people, if y'all know back in the 90s, they had a Roman charge. So my phone, oh, my yeah. phone was based out of Colorado. I brought the phone mm -hmm. back to Georgia. Anytime I power it up, Roman. I'm Roman. Three, four dollars a minute. <laughs> And you know your boy big time and Ocho. You know I miss a man. I big time here with yeah. you. How did your boy die? What you right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro. Hey, man. What's going on? I called my brother. Bro, what's going on? He like. Mm -hmm. I said, man. Your boy money jump funny. He like, what you mean? Yes. <laughs> man, Ocho. 
boy, shut up, laugh, boy, shut up. I said, boy, your boy, money jump front. I said, man, you know. Yeah. I said, man, I'm um, I'm trying to go back to school. You know, finish up my degree. Um, yes, sir. And you know, he said, well, the first thing I want you to do is turn that damn phone off. I'm like, all right, right. Get that yeah, yeah, get that Roman off. Cause the bill was like, the bill was like, oh, I got that bill like twelve hundred dollars for a self. Yes, damn. In, in the nineties, twelve hundred. Yeah. Now, mind you. I'm still paying 500, 510, 525 at Mill Pond. I'm still paying. I got right. 1200. I got like uh uh a thousand, I think it was like a thousand twenty-nine at Royal Oaks. Mm-hmm. And I had to go to Rental Center yeah. because I ain't got no furniture. So I got to rent furniture, furnish the whole apartment Ooh. like 250 $300 a month. And I gotta right. pay to go back to school. I ain't got no money coming in, Ocho. Yeah. Hey, it's di- it's dip. Listen, I I don't I don't think <laughs> I don't think people understand, man. I don't think people understand. Obviously, the money's a little bit different today. But again, the if the discipline isn't no. there, Unc, I learned quick. I learned quick, Unc. It took me one year. One year of well, five, I finally made it. I went through it. Holy, I'm back at I'm back at square one. Yeah. And somebody else that had that been had been playing got to send me enough just to survive during the offseason. Oh no, boo-boo. I would never be in, I would never, ever, ever, ever be in this situation again. I, ever. I like yesterday. And I tightened, I tightened up real quick. Ocho. Hey, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Northcutt, if you see this, I know you're going to see this. Boy, I appreciate you because it's because of you that got me to get myself together. So boy. never forget it. My going into, going into my, going into my second year, my second year, get ready. So now, Ocho, mm-hmm. I'm a, you know, I first two years I made sixty three thousand. I think I made sixty three and then seventy three. Got a ten thousand dollar raise. Mm-hmm. And so by this time, right. we, ho- I got, hey, I ain't got no contract. Right, I got no contract, Ocho. I, mm. So, but I kept my place year round this time. So right. I'm playing. Ain't got no, hey, I ain't got no money coming in. You know, I'm spending, you know, I'm going to Black College Beat. We, you know, you boy, <laughs> you know, your boy doing that thing. Oh, 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 oh freak Nick, you yeah. boy. Oh, oh. Yeah. My brother called me. He said, look here. And this is the first, this is really the only time in all, in all my years, my brother's ever yes, cursed sir. at me. The only time ever. He picked up the phone. He called me. I said, what's up? You know, I mean, y'all, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? We good? Yeah, you, 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 you I hype, could tell huh? by the tone of his, of his voice. voice, he wasn't in a joking mood. I'm like, what's up, man? Oh, yeah. This is what he said to me, verbatim. I'm not going to go broke fucking with you. Ooh, and hung, woo, up. And hung, hung up. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time my brother has ever uttered a curse word at me. The only right. time. Right. Say no more. Yeah. Say no more. Cause I, I hey what listen. Oh Joe, because I was I'm thinking, man, this I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be he's like, bro. And you know, later he explains to me, say, bro, you don't understand an injury here or something happened there. That you not it's gonna you not gonna play in the NFL if if you were a doctor or a lawyer or had a normal occupation. Your career mm-hmm. is not going to be as long as theirs, and you needed to understand mm-hmm. that, You're right? Yeah. But he was the only one, and my sister would have called me. I said, "Get out of my face!" But that was the only time. And from that moment mm-hmm. on, well, I ain't have no choice. Lot, man, I started I'm... having babies, and you know, yeah. Oh, you ain't got hey, no choice. That that that'll get that'll get you that'll get you right. The three words that'll get you in order. Real quick. Three words I hated. Mm. Three words to this day, and I ain't heard them since. Mm-hmm. I love you. Shannon, I'm pregnant. God! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! God! <laughs> Got to be more careful. Yeah, yeah. Listen, some, listen some, they, 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 were, they were nothing but blessings on Ooh, the back end. It, it, it nothing did. But, nothing but because, blessings. Because here's the thing, Ocho. Now my homeboy is hearing. My homeboy is Savannah. He hearing. Right. Yeah. He probably ain't gonna make it. You know they. He ain't gonna make it. Look at that. He thought he was gonna be a first round pick. He going to seventh round. Mm-hmm. He ain't gonna even make the team. 
My homeboy just retired. Right. Dude, I got kids. He ain't gonna be able to. Be, he ain't gonna be able to take care of them kids. Yada yada yada. Man, Ocho, and I remember my grandmother. Only thing she ever said: "You make them, you take care of them." Now, that's it. Mm. She didn't. She wasn't. A, I'm disappointed in you because I didn't raise you like that. The only thing she said: "Right, take care of them kids, boy." Because you know, old people they yeah. don't call you by your name. My grandma very ever called me my name. She called me boy. Called me son. That's the way they do it inside. You say, hey, hey, boy, take yeah. care of them kids. Okay. It got Ocho. It made me focus, but it gave me a, a desire because my desire to succeed now was far greater than your desire to want me to fail. But see, mm -hmm. the one thing that I had in my favor that you didn't is that I control my success. Only thing yeah. you could do was wish and hope. Right. I had it in my hands. Man, it was yours bad, Ocho, bad. Look here, but those man, that that was that was that was that was the time, Ocho, that I look back and I think mm -hmm. about it. And as we talk about a lot of times financially, we weren't always mm -hmm. the most financially responsible people. Responsible. It take a no, time. No. Now sometimes you yeah. don't get an opportunity to recover because if you make too great a mistake. At yeah. this juncture of my yeah. life, Ocho, I ain't trying to hit number singles. I ain't trying to hit nothing out the park. Yeah. You can't. And if I need to walk, if I need to it. walk, as long as I get on base. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's different, man. Financial literacy is so important for us. Not even It's not even about being an athlete. Just for everybody in general. Understanding the value of a dollar. You know, I had, I had to learn. I learned really quick. It just took one incident. It took one mistake. And it tightened and straightened me up really quick. And it's gotten me to the point where I am today. Listen, 11, 12 years removed for the game. And I, obviously, I, I'm, I'm very fortunate, you know, because of some of the people surrounded by me, Doug, for mm -hmm. one, some other people, um, to where I'm at a point now where I'm making more now, and I'm not even playing football. I ain't got to take no hits. I ain't got to score no touchdowns. And I'm making more now, and I ain't caught a damn pass in thank, 10 years. Thank you. Thank you. Man, listen. You know, but then the, those those principles and that – the, the, that that financial discipline is still instilled in me. Mm -hmm. I have a little, I have a little fun. Yeah, here for now, sure. You know, for the yes. kids, for the yes. misses. But it's never to the extreme where I have to maintain and keep up no. the image. Mm -mm. No. Never, ne never. I, ne I never get to that point because I, I I understand. Like I don't care what you see going across that screen across oh, that no. ticker, but that money that money will jump funny real fast if you if you moving wrong. My grandma always said, "A fool and his money." Sell shoon part they ways. They will. Every time. And then at what point in time, Ocho, and like me for cars, Ocho, I done had every car. Ferraris don't mm -hmm. do it for me. Mercedes, yeah. I've had every Rolls Royce. I've had them all. Yeah. So now me just mm -hmm. getting the car, hey, ain't nothing, wrong, ain't nothing wrong with that range. I get that thing serviced every year and it still drives good. Yeah. And you get from point A to point B, the exact same. Hold up. How about my, my dumb ass? I think it was 20, 2009 and maybe 2010. I leased the damn Bugatti for a year. Oh, Lord, yeah. And then I get, I get fined when yeah, we playing the Philadelphia Eagles in the preseason. I get, I forgot who was number 55, uh, Caucasian, Caucasian mm -hmm. brother. I forgot his name. I got hit across the middle. I'm talking about big hit. My is preseason. I'm like, well, golly, I think my helmet went flying. <laughs> I went to the sideline and I had my phone on the sideline. I tweeted, it's okay, guys. I'm okay. It was a good hit. I tweeted the NFL fined me twenty five thousand in the preseason. Mm -hmm. Unk. I tweeted out the following day. I'm chat. Y'all can find this tweet too. I tweeted out the following day. Well, man, they done took twenty five thousand. That was one of my Bugatti sure payments. Man, Unk. I took that car back about a month later. Man, get this. Get, get this. Why? But you this, already locked into the, the. You might as well just kept it. Man, Unc, I took that car back a month later. By the time we got the goddamn November, we was in the prison. By the time we got to November, uh, -uh you got, baby, you got to go. You got to go. Mind you, I had did that based off. I, I had had all type of shows in the mm -hmm. off season, so it was coming in like crazy. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself and get something I've never had before that not very many people had, and I did that. You know, I treated myself yeah, a little sure. bit, but it had nothing to do with what, what I had coming in right. on the field. Never again. No. I said, let me lock back in and get back to the discipline that I had 
fucking displayed the past six or seven years. And then, and then, but I know, I know what it's like to drive and it now. Plus, Ocho, out here, whatever kind of car you think you can have, mm -hmm. drive it in Beverly Hills. And when you pull up mm -hmm. to the light, I guarantee you're going to see another one look just like it, just a different color. Just like it. Unless yeah. you got the space shuttle. <laughs> and they got those. Yeah. So I don't know who you trying to impress. Because drive around here and you're going to see 70 million, 100 million, 200 million dollar yeah. mansion. You think you're impressing yeah. somebody and they tap a button no. and the whole wall go down into the floor. The entire mm -hmm. wall. So imagine yeah. you got the, whatever size house you got, you press a button and the wall disappears. Mm -hmm. So you can't impress nobody. Yeah. So once you realize that you can't impress nobody out here, mm -hmm. man, wish I might. Yeah. I'm going to drive mine. Man, what you driving? Yeah. A 2012 Range Rover. Yeah. A 2005 smart With the car. rims sculpted up, man. Hey, why won't you get the rims painted? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? That the rim ain't hurting nobody. Oh. I'm a, guess what? I'm gonna oh, pull man. up to the curb again and go scuffle them up again. So I'm good. But I mean, yeah. that, that, once you realize, Ocho, that the people mm -hmm. that you try to impress, they don't really care. They don't, they don't care. I mean, uh, you, if you think about it, people, care. don't really care about you. No, it don't. It don't. And I, I, I tell people all the time. I tell players, even the players playing today, I tell them all the time. I say, listen, find a way to make yourself a household name. Find yourself a way to make your house, uh, yourself a household name. And you do that by what you do on the field. And you get to a point in your career where your name is bigger than anything you can buy. Your name is bigger than anything you can purchase. So it doesn't matter what you're driving. They recognize who the individual is outside yep. that helmet. When your name and your visibility is bigger than anything you could purchase to put on and wear, they go your value. Yeah. They go your value right there. You don't need the fancy car. You don't need all the motherfucking jewelry because when you out in public, oh shit. I got one. They go I got a wide like what I got go, a bracelet. They go, they go, got they me go a little nail. Them. Got a like, two yeah. bracelets. I need, but I need to get my number back. I gotta yeah. get my number because you know when my house got broken into, yeah. They took my number. And the fact it's not it, you get it your wasn't the fact. Oh, you gotta get your yeah, man. And my brother gave it yeah. to me. Hmm. See, the thing is, like the watches now, even the watches now, Ocho, they don't have the same, they don't have the same value to me. Cause I, they don't hold it. Okay. Because Ocho, it was a grind. Every watch that I got, I saw that watch. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm I save up and get it. To get it, yeah. That's a good and feeling. Man, too, huh? Ocho, that, that's oh, that, that's that's what hurts. That's a good feeling. So bad, Ocho, is that I saved up to get those watches, man. I mean. Man, that thing hurt. It was like I said, it wasn't the fact because uh, insurance covered everything. It was that man. I was like, man, I remember seeing that watch. I like, I'm gonna get that. Okay, mm -hmm. five five thousand here. Say, oh, I got an appearance there. Did an autograph yeah. signing here. You something there. So, end up saving. It might mm -hmm. take me two years, but I got mm -hmm. it. And the feeling yeah. that when you save up to get something like me, Ocho, mm -hmm. that's why I don't. That's why I don't really do a whole lot. Because right. I got money now to go do it. Ain't, it ain't like it. Ain't, it don't have mm -hmm. the same meaning to me. Nah, and you know, you know what's good. Now you speaking of saving, right? I myself, we just got, we just got this new place. Obviously, you see the yeah. backdrop. I'm not at the right. old place no more. I told real, I give you a year and a half, and I, I'm up out of here. Well, I don't know what she gonna be. I know I'm. Why? Why? What's wrong? So I got my whole. I got my whole up. Hold on, let me show you real quick. Hold on, I ain't even. I ain't bullshit. <laughs> Listen, but you, you about this? to build a door? You about to build a house? Well, I'm not, Unc, I'm not playing. I'm Unc, I'm not playing. I got I got my flow plans right here. I got my flow plans right here. This is it's it's called Osho's right. World. I told real. I say, listen, I'm gonna give you a year and a half. We ain't gonna be here no more. I know we just got here. I think we only be here three weeks. I give you a year and a half, and we moving. I want I I got I told myself by 2025. I need to be breaking ground in January. Oh, my birthday! I need to be breaking ground on January. It's called Ocho's World. Look, twelve thousand. Look, twelve thousand square 12. foot. Man, listen, um, I got I got eleven kids, man. I got eleven kids. They might be in college. Some, you know, everybody. Yeah. Damn, they everybody grown now except for the little three. But I'm gonna treat myself for all the hard work and all the saving I've done throughout right. the years. 
and then come on the back end and do something I want to do for the little ones. For the little ones. Just that just that just has the fun. I would open it up, but it, it, it's too yeah. big. And that my camera ain't that goddamn big. But man, listen, I'm talking about I've been penny pinching for a very long time just to do something like man, that. Nothing wrong with that. Just to do something like that. I'm you gotta, oh, I'm, I'm you gotta reward yourself. Oh yeah. You gotta reward yourself. Oh yeah. And 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 I I got it. and the fact that me and her beefing. So I want to be able to say, you know what? I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm finna go. On, I'm finna go on the West Wing. <laughs> I'm, I'm finna go on the West Wing. I don't even want to. I ain't. I ain't trying. I want to be able to play hide and seek, and it take you about an hour to find me. <laughs> Man, you wild, Ocho. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm more. I'm more not lip. My mouth dry right now. All this time I've been talking because there ain't no water in the refrigerator downstairs. But. That's what uh, I can't I can't afford nothing right now. My money, I you know, I'm penny pinching. I'm trying to. I got some. Nah, I, I, I pity. You know, I, I got I got some plans. I got a master plan brewing. I oh, got you, got, you, brewing. you got plans? I got some brewing, Ocho. I okay. got some brewing. What? I I, I didn't I didn't gave you my plan. That's my plan right there. So I'm 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 locked in. I ain't I ain't I ain't spending nothing. You know, Chad. If y'all see me in the same outfit, you know, for for two three weeks, a month, two months, now you know why. Yeah. Uh, the Lakers are the eighth seed, and they will face the Pelicans on Tuesday night after they go on the road and close out the season in great fashion. They beat the Pelicans, and they'll be the eighth seed. Uh, they're number eight. They'll play the Pelicans, who are the seventh mm -hmm. seed, and the game will be played Tuesday. You watch your uh, – uh, whoever wins this game will be the number seven seed, and they'll face mm. the Nuggets. Whoever loses – plays the winner of the 9-10 and that matchup will be the 8th seed and they'll play the OKC Thunder. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know what's funny? Listen, even if I don't know the game of basketball, I understand this is a very important series for the Lakers, mm -hmm. right? But I don't even think it's going to be about LeBron. I don't even think it's going to be about AD. I think it's going to be about the supporting right. cast. So for you, I'm going to ask you, who do you think would be a bigger factor in the Lakers game? Would it be Austin Reeves or would it be D'Angelo Russell? Man, look here. Or a combination of both. Because they got, I think those two got to play well, or one of the two got to play extremely well and be able to keep up with the production of if, LeBron man, and look, AD. The Lakers, when they're, when AD and LeBron, I, I'm counting on AD and LeBron to be AD and LeBron. Um, we saw those guys yeah. the other night uh, against Memphis. And they had to go, mm -hmm. had to play damn near 40 minutes against uh, uh, the Grizzlies G League team. But I like that kid, G. Jackson. He had another <laughs> monster game today. But when right. Austin Reeves and D'Lo, especially D'Lo shooting those threes, because mm -hmm. he can play the pick and roll, he's tremendous. And then you know you want to help on AD, and then he gets to let those three balls go. So mm -hmm. this is twice that we played, they played the Pelicans uh, in the play in the uh, in season tournament. And blew them out. They played them again today mm. and blew them out. Now they're gonna have to go back to uh New Well, they're not going back, they're gonna stay there. We gotta play them. I just like the matchup. I think the Lakers match up yeah. very, very well against them. They have no mm. answer for LeBron, they have no answer for AD. The question is, is that uh BI was on a minutes restriction. The question is, he right. just got back. How much I they might throw caution to the wind and say, BI go until you can't go. But then maybe they're like, right. nah, we need you for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Zion did not have a good game today. I think he's going to come out and try to be more aggressive. LeBron did a great job mm -hmm. on him. Hey, I'm going to concede anything 15 feet out, you shoot it. Mm -hmm. But you have I ain't going to let you, I ain't let you get to this basket. So, so that, that mean that mean basically, obviously, is the clock ticking on Zion Williamson also to take that next step and play at a high level, especially in the playoffs? Well, he, but listen, here's the thing, Ocho. He played Look, there is no question. When he's on the court, he's a wrecking ball. Athletic, quick, yeah. give you 20, can, you know, average 25, probably 25, 6, and 7. Yeah. You'd probably like to see the, those those rebounds go up. But he, I think he had what, mm -hmm. like, he had like eight or nine assists today. So he he's a pretty good job. They, I've seen him at times run the offense through him. Um, his biggest thing is staying on the court. His biggest thing. Health-wise, you mean? Health -wise? He's got to control. He's got to control his weight. If he can control his right. weight, mm -hmm. he's 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 a phenomenal talent. He's a more athletic Charles Barkley 
That's what he is. Okay. Now, right. people don't realize, I mean, you know, they, they see Charles and they think that's all he was. Charles led the, nah. led the league in rebounding at 6'4". Mm -hmm. that's, that's Charles Barkley. So he right. could be that. He should be that. If he keep his right. if he keep his weight under control, but I like the way he's played this year. Uh, he's he's a, he's a phenomenal talent. Everybody knows he's a phenomenal talent. But I got I got I got the uh, I got the Lakers. I think. And now all things being equal, would I be disappointed if the Lakers lost and then one to eight eight one to eight nine matchup? Nope, because that means they get they get they get the uh, Thunder, and I think they match up better against the Thunder than they do the Nuggets. Thunder. But wait, wait, shot shot don't no. scare you? No. Mm -mm. Nikola Jokic scared me. Uh, 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 oh, uh Jamal yeah. Murray. They're they're they're, yeah, they're as good as anybody in clutch situation. Yeah. Last five minutes, game right. within five points. Nikola Jokic is a monster. Jamal Murray knows when mm -hmm. game time and he can take the game over. Michael Porter Jr. can make timely big shot after big shot after big shot, mm -hmm. and they've been there and done that. OKC that is, has yeah. yet to be there, has yet to get there and do that. So I'm always going right. to take a team that's been there and done that. And you're talking about the MVP, Nikola Jokic. So yeah, they they put fear in everybody. Uh, but if I'm the the Lakers have played well the last couple of games. So the Lakers and uh, the Warriors get into play in the uh, the T Wolves three six matchup. They get the Suns. They lost the Suns. They could have been the mm -hmm. second. If they'd have won, they'd have been the two seed, right? If they'd have won today, yeah, they'd have been the two seed. But that's what they are. That's where they are right now in the Easter. Yeah, all the Nuggets had to do was beat the Spurs, but uh, Wimby goes crazy on Friday night. Uh, <laughs> the number one seed is the Boston Celtics. They're 64 and 18. The Knicks, in overtime, secured the number two seed. The Bucks are the three seed. Cleveland, the four seed. Orlando, the five seed. Pacers, six. And so the play in is Sixers, Miami for the right to play the Knicks, and then the Chicago and Atlanta. For the right to play Boston, mm. I'm finna watch. I'm finna watch. I'm finna watch. Now I'm finna lock in. I'm gonna take me notes when they playing, so I'm, I'm gonna be able to talk about it. Shoot. The Knicks. I like the Knicks, but hey, if Joel and Embiid, if Joel and Embiid, balling, boy. with Joel and B, if he can stay healthy in this series, yeah, that's a big if because he missed he missed yeah. what two months with that knee. With Joel mm -hmm. and B, Tyrese Maxey. Kelly Oubre Jr. and 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 and, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Tobias Harris. Yeah, I like them against the Knicks. I like them against the Knicks. I do. I do. I believe the Knicks. I believe. I, I believe know. the Sixers are going to beat Miami. I do. I know. I know the Heat. Whoa, 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 whoa! Simmer down. Simmer down a little bit. Bam. Jimmy yeah. Butler. Tyler Hero. Mm -hmm. We got ba baby Jesus. I call him baby Jesus, the young, the young rookie from UCLA. Oh, oh, oh Jaime Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. That, I call him baby mm -hmm. Jesus. They, you don't don't just come in and think they just finna no, come, through, come come high down here. Miami no, well, y'all y'all go y'all play y'all play them in, in, in Philly. Well, we gonna we, we gonna beat them in Philly too. Mm -hmm. What you talking about? It's the Heat. Okay. It's Jimmy Butler. Playoff time. Look at Jimmy Butler's. Stats in the regular season, what he oh, does in the he's, playoff he's phenomenal. time. He's phenomenal in the postseason. Yeah. So what make you what make you think they we man we finna go into Philly man have a Philly cheese steak okay. man stop right. playing and that's no disrespect to my Philly people because I know y'all no, you know I late, love you too late it's, it's disrespect it's disrespect <laughs> nah that, no because the people in Philly love me they they, they good they they know I mean no and harm. Atlanta and Atlanta and Chicago for the right to play uh the Boston Celtics I think that'll be quick work in that situation um whoever. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, the last the last week, I didn't. I haven't liked what I've seen from the Celtics. I have a lot. What's what's wrong nah. with them? They 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 inc they inc they inconsistent. Here's the thing, Ocho. This team takes and they makes a lot of threes. So a lot of what that is right. contingent on is taking and making threes. And you know right. you can get hot and make a bunch and shoot. But and when you when you cold, you, you cold. cold. But here's the thing: sometimes they race out the big leads. They keep shooting threes. And they let the other and they shoot themselves right into a situation where the team is right back in the ball game. Right, right. So I mean, but there, I mean, you look at Tatum and you look at Przingis, you look at JB, uh, Derek White. I mean, they got guys, a uh, uh, Pritchard coming off the bench. They got, they got, they mm -hmm. they got a uh, Al Big Al Al Horford. They got a solid squad. 
But sometimes you just look at them like, bro, bro, how y'all blow a 23 point lead? How y'all blow a 26 point lead? Mm hmm. Damn. It's hey, you know, the game of basketball is a, is, is a game of runs. Yes. You know, it's, it's a game of runs. It's, it's funny how when I do watch it, the time I do watch it, a team can go on a run and all of a sudden the run ends and other team is back, back in the game only down by two. And then the runs go on the again. I'm like, well, God damn. Because you're never out of a game. Because the thing is, Ocho, you go, you go a couple of minutes without making a shot, and a team can make four right. or five threes, and a, a lead that was 21 is now all of a sudden down to six or five. Yeah. And you're like, because, I mean, you everybody has somebody on their roster mm -hmm. that can get scorching yeah. hot from three yeah. and shoot you right back in the game. Everybody has that one person on the team. Everybody. Some teams right. have multiple players on their team that can get hot that from three. Like that. And you're right back right. in the ball game. So the series is going to be very, very interesting. I'm excited to see uh, the Knicks, the uh, Lakers take on the Pelicans and Golden State take on the Sacramento Kings. Tiger Woods finished the Masters at 16 over 304, a career worst despite posting his highest round of the Masters career uh, and a worst 72 hole score as a professional event. Tiger Woods said return to Augusta National Golf Club was good. Woods 72 hole total 16 over 304 was last among the 60 golfers who made the 36 hole cut. It was a good week. It was mm. a good week all around. I think coming here and not having a full tournament uh, very long time. It was a good fight on Thursday, Friday. Unfortunately, yesterday didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to today. Right. The, the Tom kite is playing. I thought I had in my system. Unfortunately, it didn't produce it. Ocho. Yes, sir. Tiger had, well, that was 2019 when he had that miraculous run, right? But what's different now is that Tiger can't put the time in during the course of the week because his body won't allow right. it. And so what happens is, is that because he's not used to walking, so that first day, he feels pretty good. Yes, the sir. The second day, damn, it's kind of like when you work out that first day, you're like, man, this felt good. But then yeah. guess what happened that next that day? You're like, damn. That second day, sore. it hit you. And then the next day, you right. feel even like, I'm, and that's what happens to Tiger. He feels good the mm -hmm. first day, second day, but then that third day, all that walking, all that swinging, what he hasn't been, like he said, he hadn't played a tournament golf. It, well, since last, it, I mean, that tournament that he played, what he played in the Bahamas or somewhere, but he hadn't had played tournament golf in a year. Right. And his body, yeah. Ocho, he almost lost his life. Yeah. So it, with the back surgeries, the Achilles, the knee surgeries, the mind is willing. The body just mm -hmm. isn't able. But the body's not able. Yeah. And listen, when, when you think about the, the, the sport of golf, it's a, it's a sport that all ages can play. All ages can play. All ages are able. But again, the injuries are taking a toll mm -hmm. on them. Now, I think, I think, as we discussed before, I think he needs to go back to his old ways of doing what Tiger did in his approach and what he did away from the game of golf. And I think it will get him back into a groove into being what we're used to seeing on he the green. He can't hunch like that no more. It doesn't he, matter. He can't get the hunch back no more, Ocho. Man, man, um, I'm, I'm telling you, Unc, when you, try, when you try to do too much, when you try to change too much of who you are to appease uh, the masses, mm -hmm. it takes something away from you. It, it, it just takes them away from you. And I think we will never see the Tiger Woods no. of old until the Tiger Woods of old goes back to the Tiger Woods of no. old. Did you hear what I what just you're said? Saying, but now we just see it. You see what I'm no. saying? You said, will we ever see a ti the Tiger of old? No, we're just going to see an old mm. Tiger. That's what we're going <laughs> to see, Ocho. That's fine. That's fine. Even an old Tiger attracts the viewers. Yeah, for sure. And attracts the Yeah, I mean, the great thing that he was able to make the cut he got to stay around for the weekend. You know, they're going to show clips right. because he is Tiger. But, I mean, mm -hmm. when you – I mean, Ocho, just think. As you start to get old and all you can do is just go play the game. Mm -hmm. You can't – I mean, so, I mean, you can chip, you can putt, but you got to walk. And he can't walk. His yeah. body won't let him do that. Right. At On, on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. So, now, all of a yeah. sudden, I mean, it's – you know how hard it is to play – when you got 
back hurt, knee hurt, shoulder hurt, elbow hurt. Like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's unfortunate, man. It's it is. Unfortunate. It is. I mean, but you know what? Hey. Yeah. He had a run like no other golfer has ever had. We won't see it again. No, nah, not like that. You won't see it again. Not nope. like that. Nope. That ain't happening, Ocho. Not like that. Not In like UFC that. Uh -uh. 300, Max Holloway produced one of the most. Wait, you forgot. You forget. You forgot about the the winner, of the Masters. Oh, Scheffler. Yeah. Oh, Scotty. Yeah. You know that's that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy. I, you know I played. Congratulations, Scotty. Oh, let me guess. You beat him. Scotty Scheffler. You beat him in a round of golf. No, I no, I ain't no, I ain't beat. I ain't beat him. You know, I used to I used to train with Scotty. You know, I used to I used to do a little golf with him at the time. Me and Scotty Scheffler, before he won the Masters, before he won the Masters, we played at Pebble Beach in California. You say Scotty Scheffler? Scotty Scheffler or Adam Schefter? Scotty Scheffler. Okay. Scotty and I, I, I played, <laughs> I played 18 holes with Scotty at Pebble Beach in okay. California. Listen. At the front nine, I shot a 67 on the front nine with Scotty before. I know, front nine, that ain't good, though. But okay, go ahead. That's a 134. That's terrible. No, no, <laughs> man, listen, I'm playing I'm playing against one of the best to ever play. So you got to understand you the, pre but, the pressure that was on me. But here's the thing, though, Ocho. This is why you don't know the thing about golf, because you don't play the competitive, you play the courts. I know I'm I'm just saying I'm trying to outdo him. Isn't that what you, that's what you're not understanding. The, for the front nine, I shot a 67. That was pretty goddamn no, good. How you gonna tell me? You do realize that's seven strokes a hole, and some of the holes are par threes. You do realize that, so you you're not only you're not only hey, bogan, you're quad listen. you're quad bogan. No, 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 no. I'm at Pebble Beach, boy. This one of the, I don't the, care the, if you're the, on the hardest moon. golf course that they ever play. I'm just saying, sixty-seven on the front nine is not good. That's a one thirty-four total. Good. It was good for me. I don't golf. I can tell. I'm a boxer. I like soccer, and I play tennis. But for me, I was out there with Scotty. Scotty, I know you're gonna see this, baby. Congratulations on winning the Masters today. If you want to get out there, man, you want to hit again while you got some time off, man. Let me know, man. Uh, congratulations as well on that green jacket. Yeah. But yeah, that's not what okay. I do. Uh, I beat you. Yeah. We gonna, we can go to uh. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't oh, do that! You, you want to play, 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 play miniature? Listen, you, you, probably, you golf? probably play golf like Charles. Oh, you want to play miniature? You probably play golf like Charles We play putt putt. No, 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 no. I need, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm out there. If I'm, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it seriously. Do it. I got the whole outfit. I, I got my, I got my golf clubs. I don't play now. I can, I can play some golf. In UFC 300, Max Holloway produced one of the most shocking and most, one of the most violent moments in octagon history. With a mere 10 seconds on the clock, he summons Justin Gaethje. Stand in the pocket. Let's go. And he stand in the pocket. And with one second on the clock, Holloway catches him, face plant. Holloway, yeah. hey, you got to be careful. You got to keep keep your hands up. UFC president, UFC CEO Dana White called it one of the greatest moments in in, uh, in the company's history. I get it. I mean, Gaethje felt he was behind. I ain't got nothing to lose. But, but I, I thought, what about strategy? I thought normally when you go, to, you got yeah. a strategy. When you stand in the pocket, yeah. you ain't got no strategy. Yeah. You just uh oh, whoever hits, who first, who clips, who. Yeah, but I mean, it was great for the ending oh. of the round, though. Those last few sec. No, you. I mean, listen. He calls him to the front. Yeah. Hey, man, let's throw them things. What you trying yeah. to do? But again, when it comes to throwing them things and engaging in the pocket like that, hey, if you let loose, you got to keep you one. Can't. On, you got to. You got to stay oh, on the Joe. phone. You got to stay on the phone. You got to let one go nah. and, and, and you do it and, like this and bring oh, it back Joe. home. You do it like this here. You see, ain't nobody got ain't nobody got nothing up. Oh yeah, we well, you know they tied. They tied yes. at that point. So what's the first thing? That goes away when you're tired. Your technique. Yes. You take all, all that. Well, goes when you away. summon somebody and to the pocket, I'm not you even ain't trying to go to. We, no, we wouldn't call that a lucky punch, would you? Because you know his head was no, down. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, I'm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. Hey, that was nice. That was that was a great finish. That was a great yeah. ending. A great ending. What you think about what, what you think would happen if, if Max Holloway had to fight me? Man, look here. Boxers don't do well in, in the UFC. That's why that's why UFC fighters have to go to the boxing ring. Ain't no boxer right. gonna do nothing with no guy in the UFC. It's gonna be older than matter. So time. I'm let me, okay. Let me let me let me ask yeah. you a question now. Let me ask you a question because I was state wrestling champ in '82. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know you see my hands go. I got hands. 
So at what point do you think Max Holloway would beat me if we were to get in the octagon? Like round one, two, or three? 30 seconds. Wait, what you mean 30 seconds? you out in 30. Why are you, why are you, I'm why are you all, disrespecting me? I'm putting me? all my money. I'm taking all the money I got, everything I own, and putting it on Max Holloway. So you think, you think, you think, you think Max Holloway can beat me? Beat the brakes off you and two more people just like you. You know what? Max Holloway, if you see this, if you have any time, if you have any time doing your break until your next fight, please let's spar. Let's get some footage. I just want to show Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Sharp oh. that I ain't with the bullshit. Please, Ocho. brother Max Holloway, Ocho. congratulations, but it, please. Ocho, there's what to every sport, there's levels. And I, and right. I, 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 I know he, you, you, he's, you, he's, you, the, he's you, the best you, of the best. Good I, know. Entry, I know. Good entry level. Good entry level. Entry. entry. But to go to that top. Entry. Man, oh. <laughs> yes. Man, I thump Max Holloway chin, man. Don't play at me like that, man. I'm out the city, man. What you talking about, man? Uh, I'm built for that. Uh, I mean, you know, you go back to uh, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if you remember when um, uh, Connor called Jose Aldo. Oh yeah, he clipped him. Uh, yeah. Oh, at the beginning, yeah. at the beginning, at the beginning, when he was coming in, being aggressive. That was a good Marvel counter. Dog flying me, uh, Bennis, uh aspirin. Uh, Khabib, Maul, mm -hmm. uh, Connor. I mean, yeah. look, there have been some Holly Holmes signature leg kick over Rodney Rousey. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. look, it was it, it was a great. Uh, Pierre did a great, did an unbelievable job on Hill. I mean, because Hill yeah. kicked him in the groin, and um, mm. uh, what's the guy? What's the black referee name? Herb Dean. He went to check. He said, "No, nah, I got it. Don't even worry about it. Don't you? Don't you worry right, about right, it. Right. Don't Herb." Right. Herb, I got this. I got this. Yeah. Walked it down, clipped it with a left. And then um mm -hmm. uh what's the name? Kyla. Kyla Harrison. Makes her yeah. UFC, made oh, her boy. UFC debut, two-time judo champ, two-time Olympic gold medal in judo. What? Mm -hmm. What? Holly Holmes is an outstanding kickboxer, outstanding boxer. Yeah. What in mm -hmm. the hell would make her stand in the clinch with Kayla Harrison? Maybe she got, maybe because Kayla flipped her and Holly mm -hmm. reversed it. So maybe she got a little right. caught in like, ooh, ooh, I feel it pretty good. <laughs> Are you out your mind? Yeah. I'm, Listen, the hey, only time you, you, Kayla you, you, Harrison going to touch me when we go to the side of the ring and we touch them blood, hey, good luck. That's the only time she touches me. It. Other than that, That's I'm it. kicking a punch. And ain't, she's a two-time Olympic gold medal judo. So that right. means she's used to grappling. That's what she, she wants mm -hmm. to get to. It's the same thing with Ronda Rousey. Mm -hmm. Ronda Rousey. She was what? Used to getting her hands on people hands and on flipping you. them and arm barring you. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. what did the Holly Holm do? Kick her upside her head. <laughs> what did the lioness do? I'm going to don't say yeah, it like I'm just that. Saying. So I know you're. I'm not, listen. Sometimes you know people get. A, I'm gonna beat them at their own game. Nah, ah, uh, no, nah, no, no, nah. No, 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 See no, no, this no, notion: no, no. to beat a man, you gotta beat the man. The hell you mm. say? If somebody else beat the man, I'll beat him. <laughs> damn, damn that beat the man. You gotta beat the man. No hell, no. If somebody beat the man on the way, I gotta fight the man. Well, I'm gonna beat the man yeah. to beat the man. Damn what y'all say. But I, I don't hey, understand that. I didn't. Good. I didn't understand that. I don't know. Listen, every listen. You have a corner. You come into a fight with a plan. Sometimes the plan that you do have, you're not able to execute it. So you go to Plan B. I'm not sure what her Plan B was. Well, Plan B. But it wasn't what it 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 wasn't what it should be because the outcome wasn't what we thought it was going to be, especially for the accolades and what she what her resume looks like so far. Hold on, my my my, my thing going dead. Damn. Wait, yeah, we hear you. I'm just I, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't get I don't I don't get Holly Holmes strategy, and uh, I don't think anybody in the yeah. chat get their strategy either, because you know what Kayla Harrison is, you know what she represents. She's a gold medalist in judo. That means you beating women all over the world, and you used to getting your hands on people. I'm not getting in the clinch with you. Hell no, nah. I'm gonna kick. Also, but also, you, you got to think about you can't you can't run the whole. I'm gonna kick. 
I can kick. The more, the, the more you, the more, the more you have to, the more you have to move around. The more you kicking, the more tired you That's get. That's okay. I, so you got, you got to be, you got to be very strategic. But, is that as well? The thing, it's the same thing in, in boxing. What you got to do? You box. You keep people. Somebody that's used to fighting in the pocket, fighting inside. Right. Why would I? Why would I? Yeah. Why would I get inside? Right. Why would I get into the pocket with Mike Tyson, knowing that's yeah. what he whoa, wants whoa, to be? Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on now. Now we got Jake Paul getting ready to fight Mike yeah. Tyson coming up in July, June, whatever. What does Mike Tyson fight in all the fights that he's had? He's slipping up on yeah. everything, trying to yeah. get where on yes. the inside. Yes. So you can't you can't run the whole no. fight because what Mike is gonna do he if if you if you're a great boxer and know how to cut off the ring boy it'd be hell when, when it, it's gonna be when hell. he fought Lennox Lewis what did Lennox Lewis do keep that jab in his jab face keep that there. jab up keep the, that jab keep that jab in his face to keep him up off and now one of the guy the only guy that really fought him in the pocket and beat him was Holyfield yeah 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 yeah. Hey, them, them boys were throwing even that leather, he, boy. Even when he went to, uh, uh, when he went in Japan and he ended up losing for the first mm -hmm. time to, uh, right. uh, what's the guy's name? Who did he look? Uh, what's the guy he, uh, the greatest upset in boxing yet. I can't think of the guy's name. Kept that jab on him. Kept that jab on him. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. That jab, yep. boom, boom. It just kept pounding mm -hmm. the jab over right. Jab overhead yeah. right. And then mm -hmm. you saw Tyson looking for his mouthpiece. Yeah. Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas. Oh, yeah. yeah when Buster, Buster Douglas beat him down and, and, and what you call him? What did he do? Because everybody had made the mistake of fighting him in the pocket. Or he, he'd walk yeah. him down. He'd get close. Walk he would take a couple of punches just to get off that. Mm -hmm. Get one. And when you feel that one, shh. And, it, and you know Mike Tyson, his signature is a double punch. Mm -hmm. The boot, that, that, the uppercut. He's coming to uppercut. the body. Yeah. Coming up. Mm -hmm. You know it's coming. But that, that left that left hook man and that uppercut was some nasty. Yes, yes. nasty. So, nah, Holly Holmes made a mistake of, of fighting like that, and then she ended up. Uh, 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 Kayla ended up mounting her, getting her from behind, rear naked choke, tapped her. That was it. Mm -hmm. Al Jermaine Sterling, yeah. hey, you, his fight, he won, but it wasn't interesting. Uh, I don't think Dana mm -hmm. could be is is pleased with that. I understand that he moved up, but. His his fight wasn't wasn't interesting. Pierre right. was great. I mean, they had some. Uh, I mean, all the fights were the, was really good. But man, woo, Max Holloway. Hey, before you, yeah, hey, back back to back this thing on Max again, man. I know Max is probably gonna see this, and and I, I really want to like get your honest opinion on what you just said earlier when we talk about Max Holloway, yeah. right? And if, if him and I were to get in the octagon, you re, you really disrespecting me at thinking I'm I'm gonna get tapped out in yep. thirty seconds. You I think know so? so. That's a different animal. Like no, I like like you know me. You mm -hmm. know my competitive mm -hmm. edge, my competitive nature, my willing to try and do anything. You know, as a as a grown man, like think about this. Let's say my kids are standing behind me, right? Wait, just let me finish. Let's say my kids are standing behind me. And Max Holloway got to get through me to get to my kids. What you think finna happen? Leave your kids at home. <laughs> <laughs> Make it dip. <laughs> so, <laughs> make it difficult for him to get them. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's what you should do. That's exactly what you should do. Don't do that. Don't do that, Ocho. Hey. And if you watch, Ocho, I mean, I don't like when I like when I watch when I watch fights, Ocho, I'm looking at <laughs> hey, that was, hey, that's fucked up. <laughs> Ocho, when I'm watching fights, I'm looking at like yeah. when they come down, because I know. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm looking at Holly Holm and I'm looking at Kayla Harris. Ha Harrison. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at her. Mm -hmm. And Women and fifth don't become a no bull jive. Right. That's a large woman. Once she refueled, yeah. right. she made weight at 135. She's walking around yes, at 170, 175. Easy. Because when she refueled, she looked like she was like yeah. 155, 160. And that's in 24 mm -hmm. hours. So I know yes, she's sir. she's a law, she's a woman that's walking around 175. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah.
Cause man, woo, I mean, if you yeah. if you M-U. look at the steals of her when she was like, man, I mean, she got cap. She's a same thing with Pieta. I mean, he refueled and gained like twenty five pounds, which lets me mm-hmm. know that he's a large man. He's a big light heavyweight, big dude. Yes, yeah. that mm-hmm. tells you that. What see the thing that made Floyd so great besides of his skill. Floyd is not a naturally not a naturally large man. Floyd probably no. only losing five to six pounds to make weight at no, one forty seven. Every, t- every, every time, or he yep. might not have to do anything different anything. to make one fifty four. Mm-hmm. Right. Where everybody else is is having to come down, down substantially. Yeah, Floyd is is Floyd. Now he's immensely skilled, yeah. so I don't want people to say, "Well, the only reason." No, I'm yeah. not saying that. But I'm saying yeah. someone that doesn't have to lose that much weight to come down, right? He's gonna be able to fight his natural strength. He's gonna be, and I felt that that was one of the advantages that Floyd had because if you ever been around Floyd, he's not a mm-hmm. a guy that walks around at one sixty, one sixty five, mm-hmm. dropping down to yeah. one fifty four to one forty seven. Floyd might weigh one fifty five, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe I don't know. He probably never yeah. touched one sixty. <laughs> if, if, if you see him, if, if you see him, he looked like he about at 147 yes! or 150 for that battle. But again, once he gets in that ring, the skill oh, yeah. in the pocket, out the pocket from distance. I mean, his ring IQ is like Man, no other. Bro. And whatever, whatever, whatever you doing, he has something to combat that each and every round. And he will pick you apart. He just a computer. He will, he will, he will pick your ass All he apart. All he's doing is just gathering information. Oh, you doing this? Oh, information. Round by round. And then, uh, hey, he pulled. Oh, he loved. His favorite is that pull. Mm-hmm. pull. Mm-hmm. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> hey, hold on. And leave, he'll leave his head out there. Leave uh, his head out there on purpose. Waiting on, waiting on you to, to throw something. Pop! Ah, man. I'm kind of I'm kind of mad about this, Mac, this Max Holloway stuff. Right about you, man. Pop! And come back with it. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was like, like I said. I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see uh, 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 Amanda Nunez. I think she wants Amanda Nunez, but Amanda Nunez is smart enough to know not to let her, get, not to let her grab her. So Amanda Nunez right. is gonna be looking to you know, cause that's a, because. But yeah, no, she retired. But she, Dana, how much money you got to bring Amanda Nunez, the lion, inside yeah, of retirement? I, I, I come out. She, 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 hey, the, for the right for the right amount of money, anybody come out of retirement now? Because you got to know, hey. This is what she's good at. I'm not letting you grab me. I'm not. I'm not mm-hmm. letting you grab me. I'm ready to see. I want bones. I want John Jones to get healthy because I want to see him fight. I like to see him fight, uh, uh, fight Francis Ngannou. Ooh, I always now John Jones in my estimation is the greatest. He's the most complete boxer there is because he can do it all. Heavyweight. Nah, yeah. as far as MMA, he's the, he's the greatest MMA fighter. Well, MMA. That's what that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Well, I mean John Jones is he fights that heavyweight. He's though, right? a heavyweight. Now nah, he moved up. He was a light heavy. He took the belt from uh, okay, he took okay. the belt from Syria Gone. I think he took the belt from Syria Gone. I think, yeah, because uh, uh, really, uh, Ngannou good. had to vacate it. Syria Gone ended up winning, and he mm-hmm. took it from him. So, right. I like that. Yeah, hey. but I would, I would, I would, hey, lo- I would somebody... love that. That's gonna be because he's made mince meat at everybody at what light heavy. He beat, mm-hmm. uh, he beat Gone, and he beat uh, the guy out of uh, uh, Stipe. He did he beat did he beat yeah. Steve, Steve, uh, Miocic? No, uh, John. Or did he just fight? Just he did he just take the belt from uh John John? I mean uh Cyril Gon. Did he fight Steve? No, Engano. Because he can. I mean, he can wrestle. He can submit you. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could. He, he can box. Yeah, striker. man. I mean, I mean. Striker. And he's another. He's a big light heavy. So mm-hmm. him, him, he's not gonna have to lose any weight because you can go up, I think, up to two sixty five to be a heavyweight. Right. So he's not gonna have to do anything. Uh, he, I, I, that, I think that's the. But right now, uh, uh and is in a different league. I think he's with yeah, right for a PFL. Yeah. So. And contractually, it could never happen anyway because he's with another league, huh? Okay. Yeah, John. Because he, uh, uh, he tore his pet. Yeah, he, yeah, he was he was supposed he was scheduled to fight Steve uh, Miocic, and ended up having to pull out because he tore his pack and he's on the road to recovery. So I don't know who he's gonna fight wow. when it's, uh, and I don't know how much longer he wants to fight. But he's right. taking on all comers at the light heavy, 
has the belt. It's not very many guys that can say they're a two-time, uh, two-division champ, but John Jones did that. Kalen Clark showed up on Saturday Night Live to dunk all over Michael Chi. It started when Chi joked that the University of Iowa would retire Clark's number 22 and have it replaced with an April, apron. Chi said he's a fan of Clark retired, really, Michael, because I heard a little, that little apron joke you did. At this point, she just got <laughs> plenty of wisecrack and by Chi Pass jokes about women's basketball, which were shot down and super, uh, uh, introduced by Weekend Update co-host Colin Jones. Oh, we can't show you that because of uh, copyright. We ain't trying to lose all it. Oh, Joe, check this out. Nike was slammed for the skimpy team's uniform of USA's women's track and field uniform for the 2024 yeah. Paris Olympics. Nike is under fire for the Team USA's track and field uniform of the 2024 Paris Games were revealed. And the skimpy hip bearing get up for female competitors of some Olympics, wondering if they'll be flashing their... So who that's... Oh, yeah. The critics uh, uh, questioned whether there were uh, any input from former female, from female athletes who need to adhere to a comp uh, complicated, intimate grooming. Mm. Wait, somebody's... Oh. Tara Davis Woodall, she's a long jumper. She said, my hoo-ha going to be out. <laughs> Who did this 2020 uh, comment? Another woman said, "This way, there's no way a female runner had any say in this design. I hope the USFL, blah, 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 pay for bikini waxes. Another said, if the <laughs> lady is hanging yeah. out and still medically, <laughs> what do you expect to be having with a moving person? <laughs> they were they were revealed it now. Now some w women like like those the heat the uh like a thing mo. She wears like the heat mm -hmm. the the she don't wear like a, she wear like a singlet like not not uh like the briefs. Right. And I guess that's what right. they're talking about. The briefs are the one that have and, and like some of the long jumpers they wear the briefs. Mm -hmm. And so and so right. like like Shakari she normally wears the singlet. Which is the you know yeah. the body like, well, yeah, most, yeah 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 most, yeah most yeah, those yeah, who won yeah. the one two hundred do wear the yeah singlet. they wear the singlet and so it's right. gonna be interesting and I guess you know and some they you know they wear little little cotton briefs up under there but and so they yeah. like damn yeah but when I saw them I was like well damn the thing look I be looking I mean, at old show I mean it, it looks like all track uniforms really I'm, I'm not sure what if 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 you watch track before obviously I watch track all the time. It to me, from what I'm seeing, it looks no different than what they are already running in anyway. They, they, them you know? a little, little, little how. A little, uh, yeah, okay. You see okay. the way they see the way they cut? Because they said like yeah, all if, the way the if they look like, like that. that on the mannequin, what you think when a person starts moving, when a woman starts running, or she starts jumping and she she double hitch kick, she starts kick. Yeah, you. And uh, you seen some? All right, okay, you right. I'm I'm agree with nah, you. No, but I'm, but I'm, agree, I'm look, agree with you. Look. But based on what they're always wearing, those that run the one, the two hundred, you know, those that run the four hundred, I'm trying to see what is the issue. I, I probably, I, I, maybe it's cut a little too yeah. high. Maybe it's cut a little too high yeah. a little bit. Okay, okay, I, I, yeah, okay. I, I see what you talk about. So just they, maybe they, maybe they need to do something before we got plenty yeah. of time to correct it. We got plenty of time to correct it. But I think the thing is, Ocho, because you know, back when we ran track, we ran guys ran and we all ran in jock straps. So we had like we had like the, the, the shorts and we ran in jocks. And so I remember we right, uh, right. the guy was long jumping and got up in there and his meat came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh Joe, he tried to get it back in. He up in the air. <laughs> Dude dropped my four feet. That was the only problem been, with jock straps, Ocho, back in the day. Cause you I know what I'm saying. I would have been, I would have been in tears, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all, so y'all, y'all ain't had tights back then, huh? Ah, uh, nah. I mean, I, nobody yeah. really ran in tights back then. You know, we had, to, we had, to, uh, we ran in the shorts like Christian Coleman. Like a lot of guys were like, like if you look at uh, uh, uh Noah Lyles, he wears the singlet, like uh, uh Bolt. He wore like a, a like a little vest, but he wore uh, tights right. on the bottom. Noah Lyles right, wears right, the singlet, right, right. you know. But but if you look at Christian Coleman, he normally wears he normally wears the shorts. Uh, right. 
But nah, nah. It, it all it all it all depends. What it all depends on what they come. Yeah, for with. sure. What, for it sure. All depends on what they come yeah. with. Uh, Ocho beef is heating up. Drake responds to Rick Ross' no job claim warns rapper after this. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Ross uh unreleased his own unleashed his own dizzy diss track. Champagne yeah. moment soon after Drake's push push ups drop and give me fifty leaked on Saturday. On Ross's diss mm. track, he called Drake a white boy, claims he stole his clothes from Lil mm. Wayne, says he employs ghostwriters, and alleged he has cosmetic surgery, notably a nose job. This caused De- Drake's mm. mom to text him wondering why the internet is saying her son Alves has a nose job. I can't believe you would get one without me because you know I've always wanted one, Drake's mom <laughs> text. In response, De- Drake quipped, I would have gotten us two for one deal. If I went, Ma, he continued to know job room is coming at Rick Ross guy. I did a song that he's gone loopy off weight loss drug Majorno. He hasn't eaten in days and he's turned a little angry and racist. He's performing at prom for money. It's bad. <laughs> Drake also hinted his next yeah. ly- lyrical salvo will be fired directly at Ross. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Mm. And tag Rick mm-hmm. uh, at Rich Forever and said, You're uh, the one nose, you're one nosy goof. Hey, I, bet do- I like it. Well, yeah. I like it. I'm not. I'm not sure how everybody else feels in the chat, but I like it for hip hop. I like it. Future Metro. Uh, the the weekend also I think has something to do with it. Drake Ross and the thing I like about Drake and Ross is we already know y'all got crews. You got you got people that could take care of stuff in the street. They not doing it that mm-hmm. way. They doing it where it matters. It don't matter how many trophies how many times you've been platinum how many accolades you have what you've done how many con- none of that matters when it comes to that pin and there's beef they handle it where it matters most for us as fans mm-hmm. of hip-hop in the booth in the booth it's uh k dot started it J. Yeah. Cole followed up, later apologized, said, this ain't in my heart. This ain't what I want to do. This I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Drake said, yeah. Drake dropped and give me 50. Drake went out of my light, mm-hmm. Drake. You know, people try to minimize Drake because I guess he ain't grow up and he ain't, you know, got all this. But, hey, Drake had some bars. I right. like Drake. Ross came back. Yeah. <clears throat> Ross had some nice. Hey. I, I like it. I don't know how true mm-hmm. it is. I don't know if they just tried to put hip-hop mm-hmm. because they said hip-hop was dying. But, they got yeah. they got him. Oh, it's a, oh, it's it's well it's Live well in the live right, right now. now. This is this this is this is a a hip hop royal rumble, a hip hop civil war, whatever it may be. However many parties are involved, but Ross and Drake, this this right here, the, their creativity, their creativity and their art in pin is going to have everybody on pins and needles waiting to hear Drake's response. Yeah. So this is the thing about it, is when Drake responds. Ross gonna respond too, and both of them have great penmanship and creativity when it comes to the yeah. art of making music. And it comes time to talk about somebody. I, I like it. I like both of them as artists. I respect both of them as artists. You know, I, I'm just I'm hype. I just don't man, know man, when how it's they all come teaming out. up on Drake though. Oh, they 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 all teaming up man, on Drake. You know, everybody, uh, uh, K, uh, Ross, K. Dot, uh, uh. Mm. I mean, it's like like fifty like fifty guys coming at Drake. See, I don't I don't understand. I don't know where everything is stemming from. For me, on the outside looking in, I'm just hearing the finished product and saying, "Oh, so and so on on Future's album was talking about, you know, uh, the big yeah. three. And then I'm like, "Well, who the hell is the big three? And then people kind of it was cold. It was I guess it was supposed to be cold. K Dot and uh, uh, Drake. Yeah. So Cause you boom, know you what, somebody Wayne, had to bring Wayne in, Wayne in the category Weezy Weezy in the category by himself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, so right, right. He, he so I, he, right people had to bring me up to speed. So once they brought me up to speed, okay, now I understand what's going on. Okay, now I understand who the big three is. Okay, now I understand what K dot with the words he was saying in the, in the song. Now I see what the meaning was. So then I heard Drake respond, "Oh, size seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's so you oh, so ain't running nothing in a man size seven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So n- now, now it's all making sense to me, and it comes full circle. So boom, I hear Ross this. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom. I like that. Now, Dr- you know, Dreezy, Drake, done say you know he he on Instagram and say boom. I'm gonna come back with, at Drake you. Drake said a little shot at at, at a, a job. At jo- ja who? 
For yeah, real? man. But but John, he just played basketball. What y'all got to do? The Hooper out there busting out the gritty. I know why you're mad, Ian. I ain't tripping. If it's reported oh, must, that they must, had interaction with he, a young lady, now that's what's being reported. I don't know, and I hate that I even brought it up because I. Whoa, 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 whoa! What you, you, you know he, he, he must hit. He must. I mean, wanted, that's must, that's what's he, being reported. That's girl, what's huh? being reported. It ain't about being reported. We I don't know what it is. I wasn't there. I, you don't have no. to be there to, to listen to the words. Do you listen to the words? This is what I he know said. why you're mad. He said, "Shout out to the Hooper out there busting out the gritty." I know why you're right. mad, Ian. I ain't even tripping because remember okay. when Metro Boomin said still, he said Ja Ja also said stay on that side. Right, right. So cause right. you know how it is, Ocho. When you tell it a joke, yeah. if you grin, you in. So that's all I'm Ooh. saying. So if somebody yeah. tell a joke, they get yeah. one up on me, you better not laugh. Because right. if you laugh, that means you part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you, you you know what happened, especially when you're talking greasy, like when, you, when you're talking special like that, you know, with it being Drake, obviously being a lover boy that he is, there might have been somebody Ja might have been seeing. And we listen, Drake, 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 get who, whoever, whoever, what you, yeah, come on, let's go. You you know what it is. I mean, common sense. So you're able to speak and rap right. like that. But again, I'm waiting on Drake's response. He already had one happen, response. Bro. No, he didn't oh, you he want, respond you, oh, to, to Ross. Ross. You want to respond to Ross? Ross. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you got to respond to Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. Ross gonna Ross gonna double back right. and hit him, and then Drake gonna come back. Listen, this shit might go. This shit might go on all the way to goddamn summertime. <laughs> it might. It might go all the way to summertime. It yeah, it, yeah, it might. It might because it, it's the no, the penmanship and the creativity between these two artists is phenomenal. It's phenomenal, and they they can they can go for days. And listen, I don't care about who got more money. I don't care about accolades and, and, and numbers and streams. I don't care about nothing. I ain't care about none of that. I care about the penmanship and the going back and forth and showing who has the better creativity and the better pen. That's all it come down to. For me. For me. Everybody else in the chat, they might feel, you know, and, and want to bring up other stuff that really doesn't matter and has nothing to do with what's going on right, right now. Well, I'm excited, it, uh, uh, but because everybody, everybody great, hey, hey, everybody great on that mic. You know, they talk like Joe, uh, Jake got Ghost Rider, but at the end of the day, you still got to, you got to, you got to sell it. I don't know if he got, hey, great I got a Ghost Riders or not. I yeah. got a question. I'm glad you said that. Now, I'm, I like rap. I'm not a hip hop head to understand um, when someone has a Ghost Rider or they say someone else wrote for right. you. Why did that so frowned upon? In, in in the hip hop space, but when you have R and B, you have writers for R and B, you have writers for for gospel music. Why is it so frowned upon in hip hop when someone has a ghostwriter? I'm confused. Oh, Joe, they're just like, hey, if you bought that, you're supposed to become up that thing original after Dome. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be you and your words about what you do, and not somebody else, not you. It's kind of like it's kind of like comedians. They frowned upon if right. you got a gross right comedian. If you don't come up with your own jokes, because I've had people on this and nah, hey, I might have somebody help me uh, right. craft the joke so I get it better. But as far as okay. just writing a joke and then me going out there and executing it, nah, I don't do that. But some people like, hey, I ain't got no problem with it. To each his own. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I mean, I, I just, I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I, I understand in a sense. In a sense, but every other genre of music has people that help them write and create mm -hmm. stories, you know. And the people that are doing the writing aren't good enough to execute it. That's why they are the writers. Right. And sometimes, listen, I'm, I, I guess, I guess some of the best that are rappers don't have ghost writers. But everybody's not able to execute. Everybody's not able to write and execute and do everything all in and one. Perform. Except yeah. you know a certain few. I'm Jay. I'm sure Jay Z can do it. I'm sure Lil oh, Wayne yeah. can do it. Um, uh, you know, but I don't know. You talk about him. Either I mean, way, talk about, I'm just when you start talking about when you start talking about you start getting with with Weezy and Pop and Big and Hove and M. Bro, you yeah. now you talk about you know now you getting on up there. Uh, yeah, guys like Big Daddy Kane, uh, on the mic. Mm -hmm. Uh, guys like that KRS One, that that are lyricists. Yeah. Uh, uh, rock him. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. you talk about lyricists, guys that really—that's how they started. 
you know, Big Daddy Kane, mm -hmm. uh, KRS One, Rock Him, lyricists, really with that. Uh, but to each his own. I don't, I don't. Like I said, I don't. Hey, I like it. If it sounds good to me, I, I don't like give a damn where it came from. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care who yeah, wrote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I can care less. I just, I, 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 I like, I like, I like this, 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 this beef or exchange of pleasantries between two of the greats at what they do. And Ross, I know you're gonna see this. Do what you do, Drake. I do do what you do. Do what you do. I'm 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 back here. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Let's go. I'm all about it. May the best pin win. May the best pin win. All right, Ocho. It's time for our last segment of the day, and it's called Q and A. Q and A. Q and A. Chat. Ask me anything. Ask me anything. I'm gonna tell you. I ain't tell you no lie. Hey, hey, oh, we had a good yeah, show tonight. Did. Yeah, boy, we I'm did. Feeling good. Cali boy, S A S M R. My life has been poop recently, and is uh, this is the only oh. place that makes me happy in my life right now. And it gives me hope. Thanks, Uncle Ocho. Love two million subs. That's on our way. Hey, Cali boy, we appreciate the love and support. Our job is to try to uplift, tell stories, uh, give you new information about football, basketball, but share life stories with you, bro. Hey, it's gonna turn around. Because even though it rained 40 yeah. days and 40 nights, the sun came out again. Sunshine follows tomorrow, yeah. Cali boy. Keep your head up. Chin yeah, up. Though. Keep walking yes, forward. Cali boy, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. It's going to be all right. Keep on grinding. Don't hold your head down because you can't see where you're going. Drain Master said, Uncle Ocho, from all of us in the chat, God is good. Glad to hear Big Sister's headed home. Is is uh, is home healing. Drain Masters, I really appreciate that, man. She's ex She's extremely ex She's extremely happy. She's like, she has, I, man, I don't feel no pain. I said, you know, I told you, the only pain that you're going to feel is the, uh, is where they, the incision. And uh, like I said, she tried to do it. She just tried to up, outdo me because she had both of hers <laughs> done at one time. She make me sick. <laughs> uh, boss lady said, hey guys, I'm, I'm hyper independent, self-made and traditional at heart. There's a guy I really like, but there's a slight difference between us. As a woman, do you think I should shoot my shot? Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you shoot your shot, one of the key words that she just said that can be frustrating for a man. A man always wants to feel needed and a man wants to be provided. The first thing she said was she's hyper independent. Can you suppress that independency to allow that man to be a man before you shoot your shot? If you can't, don't shoot your shot, honey. Can you suppress being hyper and independent and allow that man to lead and provide? Everybody, everybody wants a traditional man, but they want right. but they want to be a non-traditional woman. Right, right, right. I just don't understand so how if, that if works. She can do I, that. I'm not I'm not saying that there's right. anything wrong with you being hyper talented, hyper uh, uh independent, mm. self-made, independent right. heart. Mm. That's a good thing. That's a great but, thing. Ugh. But can you suppress that and allow that man to be a man? That's the difference. Because most of the time, women that are independent, they y'all get in the argument. The first thing they say, I make my own I money. I don't need I you. I make my own money. I don't need. Come on, man. The power of the tongue. Words hurt. So, sis, if you can suppress your independency and allow that man to be a man, shoot your shot, honey. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'll shoot it for you. What's his name? Adam. I I I I I send him a tweet. I hook you up. Yeah, hey. That's what WNBA, they got the ladies shooting shots. Quap threes and everything. <laughs> Mid-range, layups. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's uh, like I said, I mean, in today's, man, everybody talking about they want a traditional man in a non-traditional society. I just don't understand how that mm. works, Ocho. You throw yeah. up in your man, I make it's my it. own money. I do yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Difficult. It is. Very difficult. Very difficult. That ain't what he want to come different. home to. Y'all get a y'all get a disagreement, and now y'all you know it's a 50 50, But you throw it up, or mm -hmm. you make more money. I, I, it's it's tough. It's tough. I mean, I mean, yeah. you probably have to ask men that have been married for an ex uh, uh, an extremely long period of time, and and see if the yeah. if the woman works, and if she does, yeah, she ain't going around constantly throwing it in his face. He she independent. Mm mm. So, I mean, rail independent. Rail had a job before you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sis, sis, sis had it going on. And honestly, before me and the opportunity presented itself, 
I mean, I'm only here because she got money, honestly. I, I'm just going to be on. I'm, I can tell the chat. I ain't got no shame. I ain't got no shame. I'm, on, I'm here because she got money. With Eva. That's it. Uh, uh, DeMarcus Ware was just on The Masked Singer, and one of the judge guessed it was you, Shannon. Would you ever go on, on that show? If so, what would you sing? Uh, no, I would not go on The mask. I, 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 I guess th this is our reality show right here. This, yeah, this, yeah, this we, but we, but listen, we 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 can't sing no. no. How how do how do we get it? What do we need to do to where we give can us sing auto tunes like at the beginning? Give us huh? auto tunes. What that mean? Auto tunes. You know how people make everybody sound good. No, we sound good. We already sound good. We just want to be able to sing songs without getting. Oh you know, no, you can't do it on here. No, 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 you can't do it on here. Hell no. Mm -mm. Dog mm -mm. man. Mm -mm. I don't like yeah. that. Well, what's the what's the point of having songs and having music if people that enjoy your music can't sing it? They can. You're in your own home. You can't sing it on this platform. I don't make no sense, man. But uh, no. But I, Ocho, you want to go on the mass Singer? Oh, yeah. You think they'll put me on there? I'm sure they would. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna be able to guess it's me though, because I could really, I could really sing. So they're gonna be like, well, damn, who can this be? Because oh right. man, you and listen when you're on the mass singer, that means I get to perform too, right? I'm in, the, in costume the costume and I get to sing, perform, dance, whatever you want to do. You're in a costume. Oh man, listen, it's one thing about it when you put a camera on me and a mic, and I got to perform. You already know right. what you're gonna get. Hey, people are mad. What's the mass singer on CBS, ABC, Fox. Fox? What? Yeah, hey, if people at Fox, if you see this, I would like the opportunity to be on the mass singer. Uh, is it not Nick Cannon? Um, Terry Crews. Mm -mm. Terry Crews, America no. got Nick Cannon, his mass singer. Okay, yeah. Hey, Nick, Nick, hit your boy, man. Hit, Nick, hit your boy, man. Get me on there, man. Let me come on there. They ain't gonna never guess. Uh, you remember T Pain? Sure. T Pain was talking because we, I, I asked him. I said, "Bro, your voice. Oh, that's right. Your voice is incredible." Right. And he's like, you know, I had to switch it up. But the first person to actually use oh, uh, auto tune auto -tune. was, was okay. Roger Troutman and Zap. Right. Computer love. Yeah, computer love. Yeah, okay, they should. He did have it in his mouth doing the, doing the video. You right, you right, you sure did. Yep. Uh, Andrea, in a classic dance battle, who's bringing the best move to win, Uncle Ocho? Ocho. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People gotta understand. I was I was on Dance with the Stars. I'm I'm a I'm a great dancer. Um, if I had to compare myself to someone, regardless of genre genre of music, when it comes to dancing, I'd I'd probably be. Like Chris Brown, I might oh, be better than Chris Brown. I, I might be this better man than Chris said Brown Chris Brown, dancing. Charlie Brown. No, I'm talking about Chris Brown. Man, ask Chris. I listen, chat. Stay with me real quick. Unk, when I was living in L.A., when I was living in L.A., you know, I used I used to be a crunk, a a, a crunk. I used to, I used to dance crunk. I was a clown. Yeah, I mean, some people have said that. Yeah, before. I, I didn't agree with him though. <laughs> no, at, at birthday party, I was a crumper. Let me see what you got. Hit, hit one yeah, crumper. I, was, I used to be a crumper. What you talking about, man? I, like I, I really used to do that. I about, yeah. I about dial nine one one. I thought you was having a seizure. <laughs> nah, that's just okay. that's the way it looked. You got to be able to, you got to be able to jerk the body like me. And Chris Brown can't out dance. Chris Brown can't out dance me. CB got you, cool. It just, it just, it just the fact that he had the platform to display it, and I had to play football. But if you ask Chris Brown, that's my dog. If you ask Chris Brown. Boy, you think Ocho gonna he'd be like, yeah, but that old Ocho boy, he he you know, like that Ocho when it comes like when it come that, to okay. movement. I'll take your word for it. No, can I yes. ask you a question real quick before you before yeah. you go on? Do you really think Chris Brown could be yeah. me dancing? Like, mm -hmm. think about it. See, this is what happened when I when I if I if I was the entertainer, then you would understand. It's the fact that that's I my point. You're you not an entertainer. So what did I do on the football field? You're not on the football field. You call passes. What did I caught passes, but the one thing that was special about me, I was an entertainer okay, first. Okay, an actor is an entertainer. He's not a dancer. But I'm a dancer. I was a stripper in '97 and '98. Did you forget? Nope. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying I, to get that image out of my mind. Nah, I don't. I had to make money. I was. At, I told you. I told you. I was at the right track. I was at the right track. '97, '98. I ain't had no money nah, coming in. You're on the in. wrong track. <laughs> Patrick Williams said, Ocho, Ocho, I saw a video, a video where you tried our Haitian food. Are you going to put up on it? 
Uh, and Unc, do you have any memories of Kake and how uh, and Ocho? How about what's that word? Le lever. I have no idea. Lever person. Leverkusen. Leverkusen. What is that? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they, uh, German team, German oh. team, balling, playing really well. For one, Funk, you ever had Haitian food? Not that I know. I mean, what, what, I mean, no, not to, not to my knowledge. We got, we, we got it. We got, we got to get you out here, man. Get you some Haitian food, some griot, some rice. And the funny thing about it, young fella that really asked that question right now, I went to Miami Beach Senior High. So I was on, I was eating Haitian food way back in high school. The, the, the chicken truck, I never forget the chicken truck used to be outside. And um, I don't, I, I remember the person's name. Her name was Sarita. It was her family truck. I'm not, I haven't seen her since 1996. Sarita, if you see this, I hope all is well. I hope the family is well. I remember the chicken truck way back then. And I love the grill and rice. And um, I, I, it's just, it's good. Food is good, Uncle. You got, you got to get you some. You got to get you some. So if you ever come to Miami, I got a perfect spot for you to go to that had Haitian food. And I got you. <laughs> I don't about no food, but I know about that old Haitian hugger book. I, I, I know about that, that old show. I don't know about the food, but that hugger book. <laughs> what you know about Bad, that? Man? What? Bad. Now you talking. Now, now yeah. you speaking my language. Okay. Yeah, hey boy, you cultured. You you cultured. Yeah. You cultured. Okay. Upgrade King. Shout out to Stephen A. and Colin Cowher for recognizing how valuable Unc is to us. We appreciate greatness. We uh and we got Ocho. Stay winning. Upgrade King, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, man. Colin is, is great. Colin's always been great. Um Stephen A, like I said, Stephen A, we really didn't know each other. We see each other at a lot of uh, a couple of events, like Super Bowl, like mainly the Super Bowl. Bumped into him a couple of times when I get uh, went to the uh, uh, NBA Finals and stuff like that. And so, you know, we was always casual. Obviously, not doing the show with him um, a couple of days a week, we become really close. Have a lot of climbing, you know. Um, went to HBCUs, very outspoken. Um, don't mind voicing our opinions. A lot of times people are not going to agree with us and that's, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm very appreciative of what the opportunity that Stephen A presented me, mm -hmm. uh, Colin partnering with me and let, allowing me to bring, um, club Shay Shay over to his platform and allowing us to create what we've created here. So, uh, Hey, I'm thankful for Skip gave me, giving me the opportunity. I'm, I'm always grateful. Ocho. And, uh, yeah. I'm always very grateful, very humble by anybody that presents an opportunity for me. Um, yes, sir. When I was on that platform, when I was standing up there in front of Canton, I don't know how many people would have said, even if it's true, that their brother was better at something than they, they are, and here I am going into the, the Hall of Fame. Um, right. Because I believe that in my heart. Um, and so, Steve, Skip, um, even anybody that's ever given me an opportunity, be it at CBS, Tony Batiti. Um, I know Tony's going to see this. He's the Big Ten commissioner now. He was at CBS. Right. He was the one that hired me. All, all of those Sean McManus was the CBO of, C, of CBS Sports. It was Tony Batiti that that says, "Hey, I think this guy could be really good." So I'm very, very appreciative of that. I'm appreciative of, of Skip believing in me and giving me the opportunity. Um, to come over. The only problem that I've ever had is that when people say Skip made me, that's the problem that I have. If you want to say Skip right. gave me an opportunity, if you want to say uh, uh, Stephen A gave me an opportunity, you want to say Colin gave me an opportunity to hear, say that. Right. But Skip right. didn't make Don't me say. because if Skip made me, he right. should be able to make somebody else, right? Ooh, ooh, I'm bro. just saying. Talk your sh hey, come on, I mean, man. I'm, I'm just going to keep it. I keep, go. it I keep it a stack with you. If it was that easy, Damn. if he made me, he should be able to make someone else. Because guess okay, what? Okay, Jay-Z. I, I tell you Damn. what I did. I made, a Kay I made a Kayla Sharp. You know what I did? I went and made a Kiari. Yeah. I went and made a Kaylee. Mm. That's making. So I'll give him credit. He gave me that opportunity. And when the execs didn't want to follow through with the opportunity, he said, no, right. I want to do that. That's the only pushback I will never, ever say. Skip did not give me an opportunity. I will never say Stephen A didn't give me an opportunity. I will never right. say Colin Cowherd didn't allow me 
to pick up my platform and says, hey, mm -hmm. I want you to come here. This is what I can do yeah. for you. This is what I'm be willing to do for you. That's all. That's that's it. If the, but that's when I get the, that's when I get upset. I don't get upset about a whole lot because when people like, right. man, I wouldn't get no, 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 no. He did that. He gave me that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And when, like right. I said, and when the, the Fox execs wanted to back out of it, Skip said, no, I believe in it. But when y'all start talking about this making ish, nah, y'all can miss me with that because he I didn't like make this line. personality. Like he didn't make me relatable. He didn't make me charismatic. He didn't make me funny. He didn't make me knowledgeable. I possessed mm -hmm. all those traits before I got there. He just allowed me to share the platform with it. To display it. That's it. Hold on. I like that line you said. You boy, hey, you you put out you put out the nine millimeter with that one, huh? Tell him make tell him make another one. Damn. That's a good one, boy. Okay. I'm um, talking that talking nah, that talking nah. that talk tonight. Let Dr. Know. Frank make, L. Make Bellamy said, one. Hey Uncle Nocho Unc, we'll be chilling at Monday after the Masters tomorrow with your brother Sterling. Yeah, he so that means you're gonna be in Myrtle Beach. Uh can't wait to meet him and hopefully get a picture. Oh, don't worry. I'll be dripped out of the nightcap. Well, if you got the nightcap on, he'll definitely go talk to you. He, he'll definitely he'll definitely say something to you. And just tell him, say, hey, mm -hmm. your brother, your brother know me. You met me in, in uh in Vegas, and uh he'll definitely have something to say. Oh, yeah. Lamar Robinson said, Hi, Uncle Ocho. Please wish my wife Brianna a happy 31st birthday. Uh, she's also giving birth to our second daughter in a couple of weeks. Thanks to both of you. Thanks for uh, thanks hey. you both for constantly making us laugh. Hey, Brianna, happy, happy birthday, birthday Bri. and happy uh, about to become a mother for the second time. Oh man, that's unbelievable. Hey, Lamar, we appreciate Thank the you. support, man. Thank you, guys. That's unbelievable. Yes, Adding to the family. Hopefully, mom and daughter will be safe. Hey, hit back when when she when she uh, uh, gives birth to that baby and everything. Hey, jump back in the chat, baby. Let us know, man. We appreciate that. Oh yeah. Uh, no, Lordy said, Hey, Uncle Nocho, my boyfriend is a truck driver and listen to you guys on the road during the night, Chef. Can you give Jamel a shout out? It'll make his day while he's out there on the road tonight. Jamel, hey, your boy, your girlfriend says, You know what? You be listening to us. So I know we be, hey, just holding the road because I know Ocho and I'll be sharing some funny moments with you. And yeah, you be, <laughs> so hey, just holding the road, man. But I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you and appreciate your support that, uh, that you've given us, man. And, uh, Thanks for listening to us. We really appreciate. It. We appreciate everybody yes, in the sir. chat because you guys, what makes it worthwhile? Uh, mm -hmm. The the, Wait the a support minute. that they've given us, Ocho, and they show yeah, up for it's us been big. night in and it's night out. Mm -hmm. They could be doing anything yes. else in the world, especially this time of night. They could be doing anything else in the world, but they with us. And for that, I love you. And you know, I love you because I tell you every day. If you follow me on Twitter, you follow me on Instagram. I let you know every morning. If it's 365 days in the year, I tell you I love you 365 days of it. Yep. Every morning. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You told him to do something before we started the show as far as subscribing, yes. right? Did, are we, are, did, are, we, are, are we, we at the number we need? Not are, yet, not yet. Are, hey, are come on, hey, we need how reach? many people got in the chat? We got like 20-some thousand in the chat. Hey, come on now. I know all 25,000 y'all are not subscribed. Come on now. Come on. Hook us up. Hey, listen, right now. We are gonna give you one minute. We're gonna pause. We're gonna pause the show for one minute. All we ask you to do right now, just do me a favor. I never ask y'all to do nothing. I never ask y'all to do nothing. Just do me a favor. We're gonna we're gonna one minute. Everybody, take a minute and just subscribe real quick, please. Please, because I love you. Cause I love you. Just subscribe real quick. Allow us to hit the goal that we want to hit tonight so we can be ready for tomorrow's show. Just do that for your boy. And the clock is ticking. One minute. This damn watch ain't even working. Mm -mm. Tick, tick. Yeah, hit the please hit the. Yeah. Either these things too small or my ears too big. One of the two. But, <laughs> but we we definitely not a match made in heaven. All right, we 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 should we should we should yeah. we should be we should be at that number. Whatever that goal was, we should be there. I can't see it for I can't myself. See it for myself, Ash. We close. Ash, we should be there. Ash, we should be there. We got a hundred new. Uh, Ron F asks, where can I get a bottle of Laportier in Memphis or Memphis metro area? I'm taking a trip to Tennessee soon and want to support since it's not currently shipping to Michigan. Uh, 
Uh, it's a lot of brown drinkers in the 313. I, I know that. Uh, actually, we tried to get to the 313. Yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Glorilla took all we had. <laughs> so hit Glow up because she got by two or three bottles. Uh, her and Yo uh, came with, Yo got it was with her when she came and sat down with me for uh, Club Shay Shay. So they took a couple of bottles with them. So they, they, they got, uh, if you know Glorilla, tell her to hook you up. That's, and that's our show, Ocho. Thank you. Thank you for joining us again tonight. For, we see y'all tomorrow, baby. For joining us tonight for another episode of Nightcap. Please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you for joining us. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, running, wearing a Chase, Jamar Chase jersey. The greatest bangle receiver to ever wear stripes. Let it be known. Act like you Let know. Let it be known. Let it be known. Hey, he's Mr. Real Rosado, Liberty City's own Bengals great. I could beat Chris, I could beat Chris Brown Jansen, the greatest crumper to ever come out of South Central. <laughs> yeah, he's all those things, ladies and gentlemen. That's him. That's him. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast feed. You can listen to us to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you signed up. And subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shea by Portier. We're doing everything that we can to make sure you get those orders and we fulfill the shipment orders. So thank you for bearing man, for having patience, but the orders will be there soon. And please, guys, go out. Thursday is the last day to vote for the Webby Awards. We are nominated. Uh, we have two awards we're nominated for, for the Club Shea Shea and one for Nightcap, which is Best Sports Podcast. That's the Webby we're nominated for. Uh, Nightcap is the Webby for best sports podcast and we pin the link at the top of the chat so thank you for joining us we're back again tomorrow night we're out